just gonna let the music play. I hope you can hear the music, or there's no problem. Um... Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna start it up. I'm gonna let the music play for a second. Hey, Great White North, what's up? I know that you want to watch this, too. Great White North loves this game, too, I believe. Tweeted. Thank you, buddy. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead... I'm gonna make a little make a little alarm for myself. Here we go. Here's my first hour, folks. Here's the beginning. If you don't know the game, pay attention. Here we go. I've been on a long journey. Came back to my hometown to find it is almost deserted. The gate is closed, people are gone, and the well and the walls are crumbling. I wonder what happened. Dude, this music is so good, too. Alright, so. This is the first town. How you doing, buddy? What do you have to say? I want you to see the king right away. Although you've just arrived. It's kind of a little hint right there. Obviously, we gotta go see the king. But, first. Here are the churches with the gurus. We gotta talk to him first. If you're going to see the king, take this ring. This ring will identify you. Don't lose it. Okay, you've got the Ring of Elf. If you go to see the king first without this, he'll be like, who the hell are you? Get out of here. So, we continue to the left. So there is a bit of a trick here in this first town. Basically, I'm gonna go talk to the king. He's gonna give us some funds for our journey. If you spend all your funds down to exact zero, you can go back to the king, talk to him again. He gives you another sum of money. Which, why not? Because that'll help us on our way, right? Glad you could come. Disaster has befallen us. The elf fountain water, fountain water, our life source, has stopped. It's not good. The wells are drying up. Many men went out and no one came back. You are our last hope. I shall give you 1,500 golds. Prepare for your journey well with this money. It will be a dangerous journey. Take care of yourself. And there you go. There's our money. Pumped. It's not often someone is playing my favorite game. Yeah, I can't wait to watch you play it, too. He won't stop blinking. Everyone in this game blinks a lot, and I have a theory. You, This whole, you know, world takes place in the world tree, right? Which needs wells, and the wells are drying up. So it's very dry. Very dry air going on. That's why they're blinking so much. That's really the issue that we have to solve. People blinking too much. So, I did a playthrough of this for my Thanksgiving special last year. And I think I recall what I have to do here. I'm going to buy a hand dagger. We're going to need that, obviously. Um, three what, um, keys. And then five red potions. So I'm gonna buy some red potions. Unfortunately, you can't just hit five. You know, it's kind of archaic a little bit with that, but. So I hope you enjoy seeing this little shopkeeper, dude. Okay, red potion, yep, that's two. I'm gonna get down to 300 bucks, because then I can get three jack keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also love all the keys are named after, like, cards. You have a jack, you have a king, queen, ace. I just think that's really cool. Too. I don't know what it is about that, but I like that. Alright, cool. Yep, this is perfect. One more. The death spell early on. I don't even know if I ever use the death spell, honestly. I think that's, um... I think I know where you're talking about, Mix Impact. It's like early on, there's a shop just randomly there and you can buy like a very expensive shield and I think the death spell. If so, the answer is no, I, I don't do that. That would require a ton of uh, grinding, so it's not gonna happen. All right. Okay, let's just buy two more keys from Bill Murray over here. Everyone says this guy looks like Bill Murray. I can kind of see it. Okay. Hey, Wes is in the house. What up? Wes, have you played this game? 
I know the answer to that. All right, so now we're down to exact zero. Let's go back to the king. So now, first of all, okay, weapon. First of all, let me just say this: the music in this game is amazing, but also the sound effects. Listen to the sound effect when you equip this. <laughs> Come on, even that is awesome. And when you open a door, is so cool. Yeah, so great. All right, so I have until 1220-ish. Can I do this? Can it be done? Hey, King. How we doing, buddy? I've never been here before. I'm penniless. Help me. All right, so now we are rich people. Let's do this. Um, I have no magic, so I think... What does this guy do? I don't remember this. Do you want a martial art lesson for 200 goals? Is this the guy that gives you the uh, magic? I don't even remember. Who's this guy? One of these guys. I think this guy gives you some magic, maybe. See, the magic meter is top left. I have nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take this. Okay, there we go. So that's all I'm going to do because we've got some potions. My health meter is pretty low, but I should be okay. Should be okay. All right, so now I need to actually buy the spell of magic that I need, which is here. I always love to jump up on this guy's desk. It's always fun. Just so he knows who the boss is, you know? Uh, Deluge is the first magic. So that's it. That's, what I'm, that's all I'm going to get. I hope you're cool with that, Hungry, because that is what we're doing. So, again, oops, let me magic. Okay, so now we have magic. You hit up and B to hit magic. And that's all I need, right? I think that's all I need. Let's go. Let's go adventuring, kids. Go all the way over here. And this game has got some fantastic moments of music for me. When the scene changes, this is one of them. So, first of all, it says, there's a mark of jack by the keyhole. So I have to go and use one of my jack keys. Listen to this music. Oh my god, listen to it. Yeah. And the backgrounds, the color palette, everything. We're in a huge tree. Look, you can actually see like a trunk in the back. Isn't that so cool? Kind of. Oh man. Oh my god. Alright, so actually I should show you this. So now, I can do this. And they give you some bread. And there goes my life. Very nice. Boom. Making some money, eating some bread, adventuring. We're having an adventure, my friends. I think we're fine with that. Alright. Nope. I was telling, first of all, I love this part. Look at the background over there. You see, like, how there's a shadow behind there? So there's, like, there's, like, elf-made or human-made, whatever you want to call it, architecture in the tree. I just fucking love that shit. I love the look of this game. This is the shop I think Max was talking about. You can go in here, talk to this clown, and he's gonna offer some extremely expensive shit. And I'll show you real quick here what we got. Yeah, I mean, de yeah, death and the magic shield. If you want to sit here and grind for that much money, go for it, but I sure as hell am not. Okay. Oh, hi. And can I also say the crenellations? Word, word of the channel. Crenellations up there. Look at that. So cool. So cool. Oh, that was dumb. Alright, we're okay. Okay, first town. Here we go. So, what do we got here, my friends? I need a shield. Um, okay, I'm definitely going to take this small shield. Cool. I think that's all I need for now. Thank you, sir. I'll see you later. Let's equip that, so now you can see he's got a little bit of a shield. I don't need keys. I think I'm in... Well, I'm in good shape, I think. Let me talk to these people. Just to give you guys a little... If you have the Matic, you can break the wall. But if you don't have it, you can't. Okay, thanks, buddy. 
The Matic should be in the tower. You can get it by defeating a dwarf. Okay. All right, I gotta get back to the game, guys. I only have an hour. I only have an hour, guys. Okay. Um, what time is it? Oh my god. Okay, uh, I don't need anything else. I am gonna stop in to see the guru. See what my old chap has to say to me. Give me peace of mind. I will meditate with you. Okay, so this is the mantra. That is your password. So, when I'm done with my deeds, I will come back here, get the mantra. It'll be on stream. I don't... I think I'm okay. Should I... Should I do this? I never do this, Hungry, but I'm gonna go into this... I kind of like to have more magic, honestly. How much? How much you want? 250? Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna make a lot of money in the, uh... In the dungeon anyway, so what the hell. And this guy's really funny. He has no neck. Don't try too hard. Thanks. Hey, sweetie. What do you got to say? Watch out for the jar of poison. I used to have a crush on this girl when I was a kid, by the way. Look how pretty this girl is. <laughs> the poison will take your energy away. Got it, sugar. Thank you. Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The adventure continues, my friends. So, we have to come to a dungeon. And this is going to be my task for this stream. I'm using magic on those dudes because you can't hit them, they're too low. And here's the tower. Look at that tower. Look at all those crenellations. Oh my god. Love it. It's like part of the tree, too. There's a mark of, ja mark of Jack. Okay. Let's go. This music is so cool. Oh my god. And I just love how grainy and gritty this game is. Like the, the, the graphics of it. to get through there. It's a very momentum-based kind of physics, so you need a little momentum to make those jumps sometimes. Here's Goat Boy. He doesn't like it when you do that. He jumps at you. Get out of here. Yeah. Screw him. Okay, check it out in the background. There are, like, more tree trunks. Do you see that? And windows. <laughs> you all are gonna want me to shut up after, like, an hour of this, but... I freaking love this game. How, what a cool, unique idea it is to be set like in a tree. All right. Okay, we're getting close. Hope not going too fast here because I'm already at the freaking guy. All right, buddy, come on. Come on. All right, bud. I don't have time for you. Here's our friend. I'm just gonna magic his face, pretty much. You can hit him, like... You can actually jump over his projectiles, but... Why risk it? Boom! And there, my friends, is the magic. Nice. Cabot's in the house, Slappy's in the house. Ren, are you going to stream an extra hour since it's daylight savings time? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, when's your gig, uh, Danny? Pretty soon, right? Yo, Jim Retro's Joe. Jim's Retro Zone. Welcome. How you doing, buddy? Everyone appreciates that, Tony. What did he do? G3, yes. If Captain's here, I'm leaving. Yikes. What's up, Cabot? How you doing, buddy? I think I'm doing the Father's Portion and Legacy. Okay. I have a playthrough on it, if you're ever interested. I also do this, I did a stream on it, too. My hair smells perfect now. That's good. 
I always get the zeros and the O's confused in this game, yeah. The password is not fun. Magic is important for the tower, yes. I was kidding, but I have to roll for a bit. Have fun. Oh, thanks, back in the day. Thanks for stopping by, man. I, and see, I thought that girl was a boy, and I also had a crush. What? A little boy nurse? Admit it, Ren, you still have a crush on her. I kind of do. <laughs> a little bit. We've all had them. I have a feeling you're going to go beyond the tower. This is quick pace. It, yeah, I kind of feel like that, too. If I do, I do. What can I do? The Dark Queen, now she is a babe. That's, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, the backdrops are awesome in this game. Whole game is good. Hello, nurse! <laughs> Big ol' fluffy fun bags. All right, David. All right. Stab him in the eye. Okay, but we're getting this. Yeah, same gushing for me in a few days. You're not alone in your love. Okay. So I'll try not to say too much, but... Yeah, the lo the earth tones. Exactly, Kane, yeah. Very gritty. A lot of gold and greens. It's so cool. I'll be into anything for her, DB. Hello. Ren is going to need a fig break just to catch up on the chat. I know. I know. Thanks for everyone for coming on in for this. This is fun. This is probably my favorite game out of the whole collection as a kid. That or Double Dragon. Nice, David. I'm with you, man. Gotta head out in like 20 minutes. Okay. I had a crush on the fourth batter on the A-team in Black Box Baseball. I was a confused kid. Yes, I think you're a confused adult, too. I'm good. I'm doing good. How are you, Ren? I'm doing great, man. I'm having a ball right now. I got this complete now with my collection too. So did I, Kane. Yeah, I bought it not not too long ago. Actually, maybe like a year or so ago. I have a complete in box now. And here comes my cat. What's up? Hi. Let me move the wires. You gonna hang out? What's up? All right, don't move the mic. All right, buddy. What's up? Yes. Yeah, this and Metroid's passwords were brutal. Yeah, same with Kid Icarus. I think those were the same, like, engine anyway. Snake's Revenge had a horrible password. I never played that. I played Metal Gear. Ne Metal Gear's password was huge, too. Speaking of long passwords, Legacy of the Wizards is freaking brutal, too. Time to lurk. Need to test some games. Go to it, sir. Kitty hype. I'm moving in the near future. Where are you moving to there, Colin? All right, so we got the Matic. There it is, my friends. Okay, we've got... Wow, we've got 40 minutes. Yeah, I'm going way past what I thought I would. That's all right. Maybe, you know what I can do, Hungry? Maybe I can just do the grind. You know? Because you get... you get. Well, hello. Get out of here, buddy. You get to a point, you get to the next town, and there's like a sword upgrade you can get, and armor, I believe. But you need the cashola. So maybe I, I'll just I'll just go and see what happens. Oh, that that was painful. But this time, in my playthrough on the Thanksgiving one, if you guys want to check it out, um, I died right after coming out of here because I'm an idiot. I had like all these red potions. Red potions basically re revive your entire life, and I just forgot I got them. I just hadn't played the game in a while, and so I died. And I was like, why didn't I just use those stupid potions? I want to get some money here. Hang on. So that was silly, but this time I went to like that little hospital place and it juiced me up good, so I'm all good. Uh, cat, why are you ruining that chair? Why are you doing this? I've got a candle lit tonight. I'm just feeling it. Just so so cozy over here. It's cool. It's cold actually. It's very windy. All right, hi. All right, so I don't need anything in the town backwards. So yeah, hungry. I'm gonna I'm gonna progress. Here is why you need the Matic. You cannot go through there. So, take the Matic. Whoops. Hit down and B. Boom! And we've used the Matic and we're so taking a hit here. Oh, and I hit him down there. Cool. Alright, fellas. I guess I'm taking more hits here. That's alright. Our life is still okay. Can you listen to this music? How, like, cheery and fun it is. We're just on an adventure. What are you gonna- what are you gonna say about it? Oh, boy. Alright, and yeah, as Hungry was saying to me over Twitter, I think, the other day, 
this this dagger you have is like the equivalent of the wiener whip in Castlevania. It's pretty short. Oh, make the jump, our nameless hero. Come on. So perhaps I can get us a nice sword in the next town. We'll see. That glove up there you think is like this important item. It actually just... Like, I think it, like, increases your offense, but only for a short amount of time, then it goes away, so... It's not really use useful. Alright, now for these magician dudes. I'm just gonna do this real quick. Mmm! Okay. Yeah, and it's a pretty weak weapon, too, so... I... This is actually where I... Can you get up there? I've never noticed that. Can I get up there? Now I want to see if I can get up there. Uh, I'm just purely curious right now. I want to see if I can make that jump. My life is fine. Let me die. Alright. Looks like I can make this. No! You do have some knockback in this game, too, which is a little annoying. Alright, ready? <gasps> is there anything? I, could... I man, if I discovered a little secret up here right now, I'd cry. I'd be so happy. Alright, I'm just gonna hang out up here and check up. Cool. Cool, man. Um, J Love! What's up? How are you, Stabby Stabby? Where the hell am I? Where in the hell am I? Here we go. So I'll be able to make my own videos with space. Ah, okay. F Kid Icarus. That game itself is brutal. That is a tough game. You don't like it, though? It's great. Come on. Great music, too. This is a game that got me collecting games again just about four years ago. It's what got that ball rolling for me and YouTube. Nice, dude. I'm so glad there's so much love for this game in this chat. It's great. How are you, J Love? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for coming by. Two or three suburbs over from where I am now. Okay, cool, man. If you want to go restoring some fountains, feel free. Dude, do I have time? I'm not gonna lie. The first fountain where you use the boots is like one of my favorite parts. Let's see if I can do that. Let's just see if I can do that. Let me... But I need to buy like a bunch of stuff. I need to grind. I've got... I've got like half an hour. Come to buy. What do you have to vend, my good man? Uh, yeah... We'll take that. Okay, so what we need, we need the wing boots, and we need the studded mail. Or I want the studded mail, so I need 53. That's a lot of cash. But check this out, baby. Ready? Whoops. Did the wrong thing, sorry. No more wiener whip. Hello! Um. Alright, let me see if I can just do this real quick. Look at that. Look at that. This is where I grind. This is my grind spot right here. So I hope you guys are in for some grinding action <laughs> real quick. Oh. And this is a great place to grind to because you get bread every time too. Just do that. So you don't have to worry about your life too, too much. Boom. You just get into the, into the, gr into the grind, into the groove. Like Madonna. So I'll tell you what, if I can restore one of the fountains, then it's all up to you, Hungry. You got the other ones, and maybe you can get us to the mist. But we'll see. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Alright, so we're already at 25. This is going fast. So aside from Ice Pirate, who has never played this game and, like, never heard of it? Anyone? Seems like it's pretty well known in the chat, but... We'll see. Let me get my, my cash and then I'll check in with you guys again. So I need 53, I need 2300 more. Whoops, missed you. Sorry, buddy. Hope everyone's having a great Saturday night. 
as I was saying, was it's a chilly day. It was a very blustery day today here in New York. It was like, wind was whipping around like crazy. And tomorrow is the New York City Marathon, actually. So the city is a buzz, my friends. I keep missing this clown. What's going on here? Oh, I need that. What are you doing? That's my coin. Give me that gold, sir. Getting close. Getting close. Oh man, I'm excited now. Because honestly, I was like, I'm not going to get to the fountains. But I think I will. I think I will. Yeah, I got, I got half an hour. got my banana bread waiting for me. I made banana bread the other night. I forgot to show you guys on stream, but I have it sitting out, so it's just kind of just chilling. I'm so going to have a big fat slab of it when I'm done. So this is going to go for only an hour, so I will be playing something else after this when I'm, when I'm done. I may be playing something that I hate. Alright, I think one more is going to do it. I think that's it. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. 5323. Slater is in the house. Oh, he's leaving. I see later, Slater. Hello and goodbye, if that's the case. I would like your studded mail, sir. Do I have 28 left? How much do I have left? Look at that. Look at the math. Where's the captain right now? He would be so impressed with me right now. I just did some solid math. Give me those wing boots! Oh my god, yes, baby. Gotta run. Okay, DB, have a great, great gig, my friend, if you're still here. Pardon me. Okay. Um. Is there a guru here? Yeah, let's check in with the guru. I shall give you a title. Fighter. Make sure you live up to it. Thank you so much, buddy. I'm just going to get my mantra, just in case. Here's a question for you, uh, Hungry or anyone else who knows the game. So, I'm thinking, I don't have to kill myself when I'm done, right? I just go get the mantra, I can just shut the game off, right? I don't have to, like, kill myself, do I? Is there a queen key here? Oh, I have 23 bucks, but I'm just curious. We're going to need a queen key. So I'd love to get my pal, Hungry, a queen key. Yes. I'll come back, though. I'm going to come back to this town and, like, save. So, folks... Oh, my God. We're going to do it. Let's go restore the first fountain. So, at this point in the game, there are three fountains that we have to restore. And I want to do one. I want to leave the other one for Hungry. One is in this tower right here. Well, it's not really a tower. It's just a place. Another one is in another tower up there, and the other one is this one, which, as I was saying before, I don't know what it is about this part in the game, I just love it. I love the blue sky here, how it opens up. No. Let me just check over here real quick, just to, just to show you guys what's going on over here. See that? I killed that guy gives you a red potion. Why not? Okay, well, I think I'm gonna go for this. This is, like I said, one of my favorite parts of the game. I just think this part is so neat. So you have to find, uh, um, what am I talking about? Find fountains. Get it, but don't go in the next room. Nice job. And I believe you go up here. So I'm going to use my new fancy wing boots. Check this out. fly, my friends. We fly up here. Yup. We're gonna miss these dudes, hopefully. So yeah, we have 34 seconds. That's not bad. Get up there. And what's up here? Hell yeah. Because I remember, like, finding this as a kid, and it was so exciting. Ho ho ho! I'll tell you about the water of the spring. Oops! Fallen asleep. This guy's just crazy. I don't know. He's just lost his marbles. The water was poisoned. 
poison is almost the potion is almost gone, so all right to wake him up. Watch. Something is wrong. Oops, like what is this guy talking about? But who cares? We're bathing in the beautiful fountain, so that's one. And here's what I want to try to do, because there's an area. Oh my god. Over here. I still have some time on my clock here. I'm gonna fly over here because there is something kinda cool over here. There's another potion you can get. I just love that you can go over here. I'm holding red potion. So we have another red potion. Hungry, I'm hooking you up! Can't go over there. Cool. Power of the wing boots is gone. Alright, so there is my very one of my favorite parts. I just love flying up there. In the blue, blue sky. So I'll tell you what, I still have I still have 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna go back to the town. And I'm gonna grind. I'll do some grinding for us, Hungry. So then you can take over. Wait, I don't need to grind, do I? I will anyway. Let's just... Oh boy. Oh boy. The thing is, though, when you continue, I think you lose a lot of your money. You lose like half your money or something. I have to be careful here. Let me get some bread from this guy. I have one jack. I have a lot of red potions. You know what? Let's use a red potion. We are stock full of red potions, Hungry. There is no shortage of that. Let me just go back, kind of save my progress, I guess. If I even need to do that, I don't even think I do. Play, Ren, time is short. Sorry, sorry, my friend. Okay, we are now adept. Make sure you live up to it, I'll try. There's no wall meat, but there is monster bread, hell yeah. Wing boots, that is awesome. How cool is that, right? Um, you can give me all the red potions you like. It doesn't mean I'll use them. I'm gonna be in the chat like, Red potion! Keep going, dude. If you're into it and want to finish the fountains, go for it. I can pick up in the mist. Um, well, I recall that this tower is a little tricky, so maybe I'll do that part. But we need another, um, we need another set of wing boots. Um, and those are 28. So, let me grab those. Can I do this super fast? I think I can. Let me get the other wing boots, wing boots for us. And then I'll head up into that other tower. And that's the part that kind of sucks, because if you die in that tower, you screw it up. You need a key every, every single time, which is kind of annoying. And I only have one key right now. Oh, I can get the queen key, too. That was, what, 500? Let me just get, like, 3,500 real quick. Hello. Hello, sir. Hi. I got a plan. I got a I, Everything's in my head right now. Don't worry, guys. Hang tight. We're having a ball. Having a good time. Yeah, the beginning is faster than I remember it being, I guess. Even though I've played this a lot. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you only need one queen key just to get into the mist, and that's it. I don't think you ever need one after that. When Hungry did her playthrough, it was really funny. When I first met her and I was commenting on that, she would like go into these towers that you really... You don't need to go into the towers. They're just like items that you can get, but... And she kind of like... She was, kinda, she was like, do I need to do this and stuff? And I was like, I don't think you need to do that. So we had a little chat back and forth about that, I think. Alright, let's grab a queen key. Do I have room? I only have room for one queen key. That's fine. That's fine for now. I'm just gonna grab one for now. Bill Murray, I would like a queen key. Your finest queen key. Thank you. Okay, now let me grab a pair of wing boots. Now I do need to make space, so... So, bottoms up. I'm just gonna... It's kind of a waste, but... Whatever. 
I found two free ones anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright. So I know that we need wing boots in the mist. So that that's for you, Hungry. We'll take that into the mist and fly about. Okay. Let's now... Let me get to the tower and then I'll check in with you guys. So, okay, so maybe I will do two of the three falcons. Ah, I'm stuck on the ladder. Oh, you son of a gun! That guy is a son of a gun right there. Shoot me off the ladder. What a chump. I'm so getting hit here again. What a turkey that guy is, man. And I have no magic. That sucks. I need magic. You know what? Let me get some magic. Before I go into this tower, is there a... Yeah, there's a hospital here. Here's, let's visit with my girlfriend real quick. Hey, baby. There is a spring in the Tower of Fortress. You'll find the dried up fountain and the entrance to the tower right above this town. So long. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ice Pirate needs Ren's art. Nice. Thank you, buddy. That was, uh... Nightbot doing his job. The evil red potion tower. <laughs> yeah. I'll do a nude with Ren. Wow, that will sell, baby. Never forget Kenna. I still don't know what that means, but... Hey, Rooks! What's up, buddy? Thanks for coming by, man. How are you? Alright, so now we got some magic. Let's go through this tower. And there are a couple things we need to do in this tower, I recall. This clown, do not shoot me again. Alright, let's try to get through this one time. Right here. No, that's not it. This is it. There's the mark of Jack. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, I've used the key. Let's not screw this up. Hey, fellas. Again, look at the backgrounds. The backgrounds are so effing dope in this place. No. Okay, I gotta go. I'm trying to remember where I gotta go. First, there's the tower. I need to talk to the old man. I thought I wasn't gonna pull that off. Alright, guys. Oh, now with the sword, I can reach these guys, which is nice. Okay. With the wiener whip, the wiener dagger, no such luck. I believe I go. Mm, this way first. The right. Oh, goat boy. Cool. Yeah, I think we go left over there after. Oh man. Oh, come on, turkey. Don't don't be a jerk. I've got plenty of red potions, so there's no excuse here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know where I'm going now. Hi, goat boy. Thank you. That ladder is tough to see. Easy to miss. Oh, hi. That was a little too little too fancy for my own liking. I don't want to fall. <laughs> I have enough money. I'll have I'll be making a lot of money here, so screw it. There we go. Okay. There he is. Look at this guy. That's our friend, the old man up there. And, oh, Danny's already gone, but here are your bumblebees. Here are your Hudson bees. Which are a serious pain in the ass in this game. Very random patterns. You've done well to get here. This is the spring of trunk. You need elixir to revive the spring. That's right. Will you give me your medicine? Come back with the medicine. Okay, I just remember what I gotta do. The elixir is in this, in this place, so... That's, that's where it is. You, I don't know if you saw that, but... Ow. I should have gotten that. Okay. I'm being a turkey. Get out of here. Guys, get out of here. Get out of here! I said. These guys are giving me trouble here. Red potion! We're gonna juice up. 
Oh my god, we got 13 minutes. 13 minutes. Can I do it? I just want to re revive this spring and get a key that we're gonna need. Can I do it? Poison down there. I always remember that. What am I doing? I'm trying to be way too fast and fancy. Look at this clown. A little scary, huh? That's a good place to grind. He gives you quite a bit of money. Okay, now this. Check this out. Oh, you know what? You get a free pair of wing boots right here. Check this out. Okay, so you get a, an elixir. If you go in here and kill this guy, he gives you... Look at that. Free wing boots. I totally forgot about that, so I didn't need to buy those other ones. And... But I need the elixir. So now i got two pairs for you, Hungry. That should be plenty. I am holding elixir. Okay, so now... I mean, I'm holding it, whatever, fine. I have the elixir. I have to give that to the old man. Get up there. Oh my god. Don't die. Oh my god, red potion. Look at me. Look at me. Look at this. <laughs> Juice me. That was close. Yeah, it's Moses. What's up, Christopher Pico? I almost just screwed the pooch right there. Let's get rid of this guy. make some cash. All right, now let's go back to the old man. Let's go back to Moses. Give him our elixir. He's going to revive the fountain, but then we need to do something kind of scary. Okay, this way. check in with you guys. No liquid snake? Here we go. After I do this, I will check in with you guys. But I am on a bit of a time frame. And I know Hungry's gonna say, don't worry about it. Just do what you gotta do. But, you know, I'm a stickler, I guess. Uh, you've done well. Yes, yes, yes. You need elixir to revive the spring. Will you give me your medicine? The spring will flow again! There are two more. You'd better go and find them. I already found the other ones. Okay, so that's two. Nice. So now what I gotta do... I'm gonna take some of this. This is the ointment that makes you invincible for a little while. Oh, because there's one of these uh, nasty dragon dudes over here. Alright, let me see if I can do this really quick. Is that up here? See, I'm invincible right now. Yeah, I gotta go up here. Dang. Here's Scary Town right here. Ready? No, it's not. Never mind. Where is Scary Town? It's here, I think. No, it's not. Where the heck is this place? This isn't the way. No, this isn't it. This isn't it. I'm sorry. I gotta find... I gotta remember where I'm going here. Oh, screw you, man. There's another way to go somewhere, and I am... Was it... Oh, was it... Do I fall down there? Alright, I'm gonna take a red potion. We only have three wet potions left. Oh my god. I know I'm, uh... Hey, Donald is in the house. What's up there, buddy? Great 
great game choice. For yes, this is one of my favorites, one of Hungry's favorites. We're doing a tag team playthrough of this. This is part one, my friends. Uh, I think it's... it might be back this way, actually. Yeah, I think it's back this way. Yeah, I think I gotta go over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, boy. Give me that bread. Yeah, this is the way. Yeah, this is the way I should've gone. Alright, so this part is a little scary, because this dragon dude is no joke. I've got a couple of red potions, no problem. I want to get to him to go under here if I can. And then I'm going to make my run for it. Like this. Oh, I missed it. Boom! Nice. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Okay, so here is a door that you can very easily miss. There's a guru in here, and he has to give us a key. Use this key to open the door below. You'll find the first spring. Okay, joker key. What a joker. So now, I'm just gonna get out of here, and I'm gonna go save, because I've got seven minutes left. I'm gonna leave... I wanna leave Hungry one, one, uh, one spring. So, I think I'm done. Another pair of wing boots. Can I get those? I can't. How the hell am I gonna get up there? That's too bad, huh? Hmm, okay. Again, I love that background right there. So, I'm done with my part, but I'm just gonna go back to the town, and I'm gonna, like, check out the guru. Get out of here. Get out of here. So, we're okay with life and such. I'll go over here. That door top left is the only queen key I believe you need. Oh, I'm gonna hit. Double hit! So, we got some nice cash going here, too, which is too bad because... I'm pretty sure you lose, like, half every time you quit, you know? Can we get a hit here? Yeah, I am. Alright. So, what do I have here? Um, I'm leaving Hungry with only two red potions. I'm gonna get you a couple more. You've got the Joker key, so you know what you gotta do. You're going down to the other place to get the third fountain going. We got you the Queen key. We got you two wing boots. So let me get you two red potions. Do you need any jack keys? That I'm not sure about. I'll tell you what. I'm just gonna grab you one more red potion. And the rest is up to you. I think... I think you might need a jack key in the mist, maybe? I'm not totally sure. I'm gonna grab you one more jack key, too. If you don't need it... Can always trade it in. Can always sell it. I got two minutes to go here. Okay, I would like to buy one Jackie. All right, so that's it. So let's head over to the Guru, get our mantra. And we have a new title, my friends, Veteran. We are a veteran hungry. Okay, I need peace of mind. I'm gonna take a picture of this just in case. Obviously, it's on the stream. But just to be on the safe side. So this is gonna be easier than it normally would be in the past because I have a smartphone photo of a TV screen versus trying to figure out what the hell all these letters would have been. Okay, so let's get going here. Um, I will definitely try it out one of these days. So I was told I need to put on new armor. Yes, okay, and no shield, weapon, we're still good with that. Magic, we have the deluge equipped. Okay, and this was, um, all right, all these wing boots, joker key, jack key, perfect. All right, well, let's head out. Renaissance has prepared us well. We've restored two springs, and that's great. 
but there's one more to restore. So we definitely need to go over there. And to do that, I'm gonna pull one of these. And kill this bread ghost if I can. So this door, it'll say there's the mark of Joker by the keyhole. And so we need to use that Joker key. So let's get that out. We found this last time in the tower. And we've used key. So if I mess this up, we're screwed. There we go. We are almost dead. <laughs> if we die here, though, it's just fine by me. We'll just go back to town. Okay. Well, hello. So thank you for coming. I will revive the spring right away. And there it is. So what's shitty about this is if you don't actually talk to him twice, you have to go back and get the Joker key and all of this stuff. And he says, now, I'll give you the ring of ruby. Now push the rock away from the fountain, which we will do. So you need the rock, or sorry, the ring. If you don't speak to him twice, he doesn't give it to you. But yeah, it's, um, it's a pain in the ass to have to come back again later. <laughs> but yeah, that's just my... My little spiel, my little grumpiness about it. All right, Sir HC man, thanks so much. Hopefully we'll have you back in stream more regularly going forward. All right, AC Myers, see you later. All right, let's see if we can actually survive. I might have luck. Oh, I actually lived. <laughs> I think that's like the first time. I've actually lived out of there. Alright, so with that done, we are going to push the rock. And if that sounds cryptic, it is just a little bit. You can go stand down here, sir. Oh, that guy's a pain in the ass. Hey, Solid Nate. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming. Alright, we got him real good. Bread ghosts? Is he cooking bread ghosts, Brigand? Well, let's see if we can get some bread out of these guys. Sometimes, yeah, there we go. You get them right in the right spot. Um, I don't really want to have a red potion. We have a lot of money, but I also don't want to go for treatment. I kind of want to go see the food man. The food man in this game is hands down my favorite guy. He's so happy. He just wants to sell you dried meats. He looks nothing like his sprite in real life. Dried meats? Yes, I will have some, thank you. <laughs> okay. There is no like button, Red Ox. It's pretty much, you just sit and chat and enjoy. It's, it's not terribly different. It's just a little bit different. Now, our next experience isn't until, I think, 10,000. So we're not ready to go back and see the guru again. But, we might as well keep going. And I think we just need... Forget if it's a queen key or a jack key to get in once we push the rock. Dried meat's on a stick indeed. Yep. Lurking a little. Resurrecting a PC. That was donated. Nice. That's excited. So, we weren't here in this stream, but last stream when Renaissance was here, this fountain was not working properly, but now we have the ruby ring, so we just push and off it goes and now we have a way into the next area so yes here we are and we're gonna try the door of abs so i know what key it is all right the mark of queen perfect so let's get that out one queen key renaissance that's it hopefully i don't accidentally go back through it which wouldn't be the first time so i can't remember who was asking about bees I think we saw some bees in the tower. Um, last time when Renaissance played. But yeah, these are the Hudson bees. This game's made by Hudson Soft. Only one queen key. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Hey, Sod. Okay, coins. Uh, I think, I don't think I go this way. No, I don't think I'd go this way at all. There's nothing good over here. Hudson bees. 
I knew you'd appreciate them. Scared you as a kid, eh? I felt like the music was pretty unnerving. I hate these guys. Um, I used to have a really hard time in this area. And to be honest, I haven't really read a walkthrough lately or rewatched anybody's playthrough recently. So there's a whole bunch of places and I can never ever remember where I actually need to go. <laughs> you know, and I'm hoping I can remember where to go. I know that there's a town coming up that we need to get to. There's a little bit of a grind coming up as well. But I don't know if I'll get to. And these guys that I just murdered, they're a pain in the butt. They, if you move, will kill you. Like they swing at you and then they get you. See, there's a ladder up here too. But I don't think I need to go up there. I think town is down that ladder. The first town in the mist. I forget what's up here. I feel like this is the terrible potion house. I'm not going to go in there. The bees have been corrupted. This is very true. What business do you have here? This is the misty town of Mascon. Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> go talk to this nice lady. Hello. There are stores outside town. Mm hmm They sell useful items. Though it's inconvenient to get there. Yes, <laughs> that's like the understatement of the year. I wonder, or look up while you walk. Yes, so there are just little tidbits of ladder that you can sometimes see hanging down from this, the sky. When the meteorite is dissolved in water, it becomes poison, which will bring sickness. Mm -hmm. It started when the dwarves brought it into the world tree. All right. <laughs> yeah, the bats. The bats and the bees are essentially the same thing in this game. Although there are no bats, oddly enough, which I'm super thankful for. Alright, we just saw Breadman. Let's see what is in here. You sell tools, eh, sir? What would you like? Let's see what he has for sale. Now, the large shield... I'm always torn on whether or not I want to get the large shield, because we get the magical shield not too long from now. Um, we don't need another Matok. The Thunder Magic I never buy, and we have lots of red potions. But you know what? We should probably get the large shield. It's probably going to save us quite a bit. Just to double check, I still have the small shield, yes? Mm hmm. And no shield in my inventory. Yeah, I'll probably get the, the large shield just to be safe. The magical shield is better. That guy from King of the Hill with the beard. <laughs> yeah, it's Bill. Bill Dotrieve. That's right. Well, let's get this. Get the large shield. And that will save us a little bit of trouble. Thank you for shopping. You're very welcome, good sir. Yeah, and we can't equip indoors. That's right. Let's get the hell out of here then. You approve this purchase. Yeah, I won't leave you hanging, Renaissance. I got you to think of too here. All right. Now, let's go in the key house. I'm pretty sure. I remember last stream, Renaissance, you were saying, I think she might need a jack key. I don't know if we need another jack key. I know we at least need a queen key at some point. So I'm going to pick that up. It'll get us into one of the towers. I don't know how far I'm going to get tonight, but definitely into one of the towers for sure. So let's see. This town's been covered with a mist ever since the meteorite hit the town. Some areas might still be burning. I remember that felt so ominous as a kid reading that. It's like, oh man. The meteorite is meditated on at the Tower of Suffer. <laughs> You'll find the tower above a guru. Be careful. I'm pretty sure this tower, the Tower of Suffer is where the red potions of evilness are. But maybe not. I feel like what I'm talking about when I talk about the red potion Tower of Evilness is um, the long story short where you go in and you can get unlimited red potions. But there's like this little... She almost looks like uh, an Egyptian painting person who kills you by like telepathy or telekinesis or something like she just attacks you and her hits are so 
ridiculous. <laughs> so, yes. The game had such a dark subtext. Absolutely. I used to just get lost in this world. I was all into, like, the macabre when I was a kid, for sure. Who names their building the Tower of Suffer, right? Like, who wants to tap that sign into the ground outside their building? Indeed. <laughs> yes, it's our girl boyfriend. For those of you that don't know, we found out last stream that Renaissance and I had a crush on the same person. But I thought it was a boy, and he thought it was a girl. There are clearly breasts on this person now that I actually looked at it a little harder, so I feel kind of silly. But when I was a kid, I thought it was like a very beautiful young man. <laughs> anyway, they say the hourglass will enable you to move around while time stops. And that's an important hint. Now, I'm not going to go talk to Mr. Italy over here, because he's just going to try to heal us, and we don't necessarily want that. Nate, thank you for hosting me, by the way. They could be man boobs. I don't know. This little guy has such a small stature. It would be hard to imagine, like, pecs or anything muscular. Let me tell you, to, like, the 10-year-old version of myself, he was a piece of excellence. Now, I know eventually... Gosh, I get so lost down here. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go at all. Okay, I guess we'll go straight first. <laughs> I was gonna say... At some point, we need to go, uh, we need to fall here onto these platforms and platform over to go up a place and go to a tower and fight some things, but I can't remember what's first. Nostalgia defined, yes, I agree. I find more nostalgia in, in the beginning music, a little bit more in the music after you get out of here and go up into the branches. When I watched uh, the Renaissance's playthrough of this game, one thing that really stood out to me was his mention of when you get out of here and then you go into the branches and how beautiful the music is. It's some of my favorite music in the game. Now, I think that this place is, is a bar. I think... Let me just go down here. I'm going to get hit down here. These guys follow you. Oh, gosh. Get out of here, sir. We're going to come out and he's going to get us, too. Yes, this is the bar. Hold up when you walk. Why, John? The dwarfs are chanting their mantras to a segment of the meteorite. They believe it has special cosmic power. Excellent. This music actually is your least favorite. Me, too. Absolutely. I would put it at the bottom as well. You'll get to the Tower of Suffer soon. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> yeah, secret shopping indeed. Yeah, we're going to have to do a bit of the grind for sure. They're still impressed with how good the visuals are. Absolutely. Look at this guy. No, get out of here. You know what I'm going to have to do, eh? This is not like me. But because the Renaissance was so kind to give me some of these. Oh, how do I do this again? Down and B. Down and B, yes. I'm actually going to use a red potion. I don't normally do that. <laughs> I normally suffer. But yes. Hey, Devilon. How's things? Oh, get out of here. Little aliens. I used to feel like those guys just looked like they were wearing weird space helmets. I'm really glad we have the long sword. Because those guys are a pain without it. I don't actually think you can play through this area without the longsword. It's like a requirement. Oh, oh, too much momentum. Now, I don't know if I want to be going this way. Oh my god. I didn't practice either at all before I played. I debated just playing a little bit just to get used to the controls again. But I didn't. <laughs> See you later. Okay. Eventually, um, Renaissance last time was talking about how we need wing boots. We need wing boots to get to that ladder. But we don't need that right now. So we're not going to go that way. We're going to let this guy fall again. See you later. Alright. Now this place, I think is just filled with evilness. I'll just show you guys. You can't attack indoors and then there's a bad guy who wants to get us. The two doors on either side are like this. The misty area reminds me 
Reminds you of Contra when <laughs> it glitched. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, see, and then there's this guy, and look at this. All I have is a fist to punch him with. Okay. So let's go in the middle. There's a guru here. Hello. I shall give you a title. Warrior. Make sure you live up to it. Perfect. And we'll get a mantra just for fun. You need peace of mind. I'll meditate with you. And then there is our mantra. There it is. You're learning art and music. You might be learning Japanese in the next week. Oh, nice. Translations of what? Just games? And yeah, I forgot about being able to use magic indoors, John. Thank you for reminding me. Some places there's wing boot drops, eh? I've never really found a lot of drops except the hourglass and branch and the wing boots at that weird piano playing guy that you, you offed last time there, Renaissance. Wait, was there a ladder? There's no ladder over here. Oh, damn it. I fell. Oh, get out of here. Nobody likes you. <laughs> okay. This is not boating well. Yeah, this should get us there. Like, I honestly really love the controls in this game. Alright, here is our... I think this is the tower. And this guy gives you bread. So he's awesome. And he gives you a lot of bread. Alright, there's the mark of queen by the door. Or by the keyhole. Okay. I don't think we ever need to use a key inside of a building. So let's hope that this goes okay. <laughs> Piano guy. How do I describe him? He's like the guy who sits at a thing and then drops boulders on your head. He's kind of hard to explain. You'd know exactly who I meant if you saw him. Um, goodness, I forget where I need to go in this place. We'll figure it out. I think it's this way. At least on the bright side, we've gotten a mantra. So if we absolutely need to come back from the dead, what'll happen for us is because we hit 10,000 experience, we're gonna get to keep our rank and then we get a specific amount of money back as well. Look at this, get out of here. Stop it. Oh my goodness, I think I remember what's in this place. Now these guys are really good for farming cash. I think they take eight hits with the long sword. Yeah. See you later. Yeah, Pixel Crash has like good Japanese understanding. All right. Okay, I'm trying to remember what the hell is in this place. I know it's important. I don't think it's the pendant. It might be... No, it's not the black onyx either, is it? That's a shitty jump to miss, I tell you. Okay, let's go up here. Oh no. Oh, I think it is the pendant over here. Oh gosh, do I want it? I don't think I want it. Oh, I gotta make a decision. So the pendant is supposed to help you, but it's broken in this game. And it actually reduces your stats. It actually makes the game harder. Oh, get off the ladder. Aw. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> that part's hard. It's really hard to get around the ladder. Don't have negative thoughts. Remember your mantra. Thank you, game. <laughs> I think that's our first death. Yikes. Oh, hello. I know. Sad face. And guess what? We have to go back to town because we don't have a key. I'm coming with you. Wee. That's all right. 
That's what I get for not taking my red potion. <laughs> Will is all up in your grill. Yep. It adds insult to injury, right? I <laughs> like how you call him Willow. That's hilarious. Oh, get out of here, Space Helmet Man. All right, let's go back to town. It's not such a long walk back to town. Oh, come on now, really? <laughs> I freaking love these guys. Get out of here. Boo. Well, we need to definitely buy another... Stop that. We need to get another queen key. And uh, we should probably get another red potion because I senselessly used one. All right, Sod. See you later. I should have bought two. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Hello, key man. Or as Renaissance calls him, Bill Murray. What would I like? A queen key, please. <laughs> We're wasting all our money. <laughs> uh, all right. Thanks for shopping. You're welcome. See you later. Okay. Let's go to the tools, man. What would I like? To not go back to the Tower of Suffer, please. Friggin' expensive red potions, too. I like how eventually, too, you end up at a spot where... Um... You can kill... They look like little twisty things with a black shiny face. And they give you lots of food. I was hoping that we might be able to get to them, but nope. You can't wait for Saturday to say all the things you want to say. I know, that's exactly how I felt when I was watching your stream, like your leg of it. I'm like, I have so many things I want to say. You can say things now if you want, unless um, you have any issues with my, my playthrough, of course. You're always welcome to chime in. He's a replicant. <laughs> That's funny. You know what? I'm not going to be dumb this time. I'm going to heal up all the way. Okay. That's good to know. I certainly didn't have any problems with how you were doing things either. So. I'm really enjoying this too. I'm actually like, I've lost track of time. I've already been playing. Holy crap. For 20, 25 minutes. I haven't made it anywhere, you guys. I made it to a guru. We talked to some people in a bar. I died in a tower. <laughs> it's all good. I don't think I want to go back to the Tower of Suffer. Can we not go back there? Can I just go over here instead? Let's go this way instead. It's more fun up here. It's my favorite. I hate these blue guys. Look at that guy underneath me there. He's just waiting. I think this is the store up here. I think that's what's up here is the store. And we have no money. Yeah, this is totally the store. Because guess what? This is a really good grind spot. Weevil Spleen. Hello. We are playing some Faxanadu. One of the best games ever. Come here. Oh my gosh. Can you die? Get over here. Aha. Yeah, this is the store. So this is where I normally grind out a little bit. Is this where the magic shield is? Don't tell me this is where the magic shield is. I'm going to be mad. Okay, good. <laughs> so death spell is here. Sometimes I'll sit and I'll grind this. Um, I wonder if I want to. Because that would be helpful going on. I'm trying to think of how long it is until we get tilt. Because Tilt isn't for a little while yet. It might be worthwhile to come back. I'll come back for this. I'm not going to grind it out right now. But we will try to weigh the pros and cons. I just don't want to end my stream before I actually do anything. Yep, yeah, they definitely start ripping you off after a while. <laughs> right? I know. 
It's the mist prices, man. They don't want to come into the poisonous gas land to go and buy anything. I don't blame them, really. So that was the shop that they were alluding to, the shop in the sky. Oh, come on now, really? Don't be like this. Yeah, so Elixir, for those of you that don't know, would give you uh, a full restore if you die. It's like an auto revive. Red potions are like voluntary heals that you have to take in order for them to be effective, which as we saw, I tend to forget. I get overwhelmed as things are happening to me. <laughs> See you in hell. Okay. I really wish I could remember if the Tower of Suffer... Um, actually, I should go back in here. If the Tower of Suffer had anything useful inside, I feel like it's just the Pendant. And if it's the Pendant, I don't want it. But I can't remember. So I'm going to go in anyway. Take that, Willow. <laughs> I've never called him Willow before. That's amazing. All right. Let's see. Let's go back. I hate this place. Come on, bread friend. Give me something good here. Thank you. I'm going to actually farm him one more time. Was that priest shaking his fist? Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. Here's our queen key we need again. I've used key. All right. Let's go back in here again. Come over here, you. The hero was having unpure thoughts of the nurse. <laughs> right? I know. The little boy nurse. Okay. Okay, seriously? <laughs> Come on now. Yeah, I really... The, the enemies I hate the most in this game are probably... <laughs> that guy up there. <laughs> He's not very happy. Um, I really don't like the mages, like those marshmallow guys that we keep killing. I hate them. At the beginning of the game, they're so tough. The poor nurse indeed. But you know what? He had to go and be beautiful. That's not anybody else's fault but his. That's what I'm sticking with. Let's hope I can actually make it out of here this time. I don't know why that guy's freaking out up there. Makes me laugh. I think I feel confused by which dungeon this is because I feel like... All of the places in this area have the same decor. I feel like they're all red and green. Like a horrible Christmas. There's an ethereal little blonde nurse boy. Elf nurse boy. Yeah, right? I know. The sweetheart. All right, stupid ladder friend. Okay, I have to actually like plan this. Get up there, get off the ladder. That's the plan. <laughs> He's too fast for me. How do I get up there and not get hit? And he's just going to keep coming closer to me, too. Which is a bunch of shit. Oh, God. Oh, my God, you guys. I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> How is this happening to us? How embarrassing. <laughs> Damn it. Look, it's still in my inventory. Oh, man. Get out of here. Back we go. I'm sorry, Renaissance. I feel like I've disappointed you. Oh, man. It's hard to remember down in B, right? I know. Okay. We've gotten roasted twice. I guess now that I've equipped that potion, I can't unequip it, eh? Just stuck in my inventory forever. All right, back we go. The walk of shame back to town. I've done this a lot, just not lately. <laughs> I never do this. I never die this much. 
Come here, you bee. Oh, come on now. Let's not be that way, shall we? Shall we be polite? Get up there. Oh my god, get into town. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. We got another freaking key. <laughs> How embarrassing. This will just help to extend the gameplay, right? That's what I'm going for here. It's perfect. Okay. I am chock full of red potions, I tell you. I got more red potions than I know what to do with. And let's go heal up. We'll go see our favorite deli man. Yeah, down in B is not intuitive. A buzz kill. I'm sorry. <laughs> I see what you did there. Okay, how about we don't die this time? Does that sound like a plan? To the tower. Again. <laughs> Third time's a charm? Is that what we can say? Definitively? <laughs> I think so. So when I edit this playthrough later... I'm just going to make it look like I went there one time. Does it sound like fun? <laughs> I just edit out all my bad playing. Okay, this happened to me every time I've come up here. I'm just winging it with the jokes. Okay, can you please turn around the right way? I am getting creamed here. Get out of here, you helmet guys. Oh my god. The puns are real tonight. Oh dear. Give me your money. I think normally when I play this game, I grind the death spell before I go to the Tower of Supper. And then when I get to that guy up there, I just spam him with death and then he's good to go. I think that's normally my strategy, but I don't remember. There's bees that can give milk? No way. Ah, uh, no, don't fall. Run away. Oh my god, if I die here? I cannot believe my luck. At least this nice bread man is here. Oh, I'm having fun. Don't worry. If I wasn't having fun, I would quit. Okay. Back in we go. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, get out of here. Thank you. All right. Oh, come on now. That's not very polite. I forget what these guys are called. The little triangle head guys. Come on. I can't wait till we get the weapon upgrade. It's like a trident, and it's so good. If it's just the pendant in here, I'm still going to be super sad. I think it is. This might all be for naught. Because I think we get the important item from the big thing that looks like a big dog with a beefy arm. No, that doesn't make any sense. You have no context for it, but you will.
Hey, Jane, how are you? You agree, Renaissance? I'm glad, because I've always imagined that to be... Um, kind of a, a strange way that I've thought about it in the past. Okay, there's this freaking guy here. Okay, four. Oh my god. I took it. I'm still stuck on the damn ladder, though. Okay, we got him. Uh-oh. I'm, like, inside him right now. Let's me get away from him. There we go. It is the pendant. Um. Hmm. I don't think I want it. So normally when I play through this game, I pick it up. And that's so that I can get a really nice full inventory at the end of the game. But the pendant actually just, like I said before, it decreases your stats, whereas it's supposed to increase them. So... Renaissance and I kind of chatted about this and he pretty much said to me, you do whatever you like. And getting the pendant kind of makes the game harder. Um, it makes it harder. You think I should get it, John? Should we take a vote? Is that something that we would like to do right now? Because I'm erring on the side of, I want to do Renaissance a favor and not limit him and also myself by making the game more difficult. But we're both veterans of this game, so that's the other piece of the pie. So what do you guys think? Do you think we should get it? Take a vote, but you can't vote. Okay. Well, let's say we have one for get it. Is anybody opposed to getting the, uh, the pendant? I don't care either way myself, but what do you guys think? If we're veterans, then yes. <laughs> you say mm pie? Okay. Any other, uh, any other votes? That's two? <laughs> Wait until it flashes, then go to grab it. Just as it goes. Okay. I don't think it ever goes away, Jane. That would be funny if it did. It's like a key item in the game. Well, you know what? We have two for let's get it. So let's just get it. I've got the pendant. And we officially have to hit things more now. <laughs> so there it is. It's in our inventory. So we'll see the beautiful full inventory. And right now, if I get obliterated, that's all right. Look at me using my red potions. You guys should be proud of me. <laughs> Darth Vader scream. I'm sorry. See how many more hits it took us to kill that guy now? It used to be like not that many. And now it's like one million hits. Okay, I'm gonna let this guy just fall down there. Because I want to remember what's over here. I don't think anything good. Oh, I do know how you love a good challenge. That's why I knew you might appreciate it. And so do I, to be quite honest. So I'm happy. And look, we're stuck. <laughs> so I think over in that corner there something will spawn if you kill all the enemies but we're not able to get out so it's not really worth it hey deviant how are you oh and I was gonna say Jane don't fret um, I'm only playing this for the first hour of my stream this evening and then we're getting back to Golden Axe Warrior after that this is part of the the tag team playthrough of Faxanadu that I'm doing with the Renaissance. Kill them to see what spawns? I can do that if you like. Plus, if we make it out alive, I can actually get you to the next, um, the next level or the next rank. And we also have enough for death magic too, if I don't die. So nothing, let's see, 
It doesn't always... It doesn't always go. How am I supposed to do this? Uh-oh. Um... Ah, uh, I can't even go through the wall? Nope. Okay. Too much trouble. Too much trouble. We'll never know. But let's hope that we actually get out of here. That would be super. Because I don't think there's anything else in here. I think it's just the pendant. I hope it's just the pendant. We can go the other way and go and see, but I think it's just the pendant. Working on another review while you watch. I'm glad that I missed that. Will you come over here? I hate these guys. Oh, of course. Knock me down, eh? Down but not out, I tell ya. Okay. I don't have very much health left. I can't remember what's over here, but I'm curious. And I do have a red potion, so I'll put that so that it's handy. And there is a bread guy right here too, actually. Um, yeah, I don't recall... I don't recall there being anything else in here, to be honest. I feel like we're just exploring for fun. Yeah, see, those guys take four hits now to kill. And I think this is just going... <laughs> yeah, another bread game. Indeed. Oh no. Get out of here. We're gonna use the potion. God, I needed a lot of potions. Oh, please don't kill me. That'd be not very nice. Oh, I hope I don't die. Yeah, there's nothing here. Except whatever spawns randomly on that ladder. Okay. Let's get out. Alive, shall we? <laughs> I'm hoping. Run! Oh my god. Get off the ladder. <laughs> oh my goodness. We have so much magic. There. I just really want to make it back to the guru. Oh, turn around. Look at that guy, he's trying to get us. Olive Garden presents Hungry Gorio's Mass Market. <laughs> Family Dining Slayer. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, let me out. Stop it. Alright, we made it. Oh, I almost fell down a pit. Okay. So... Our next move, we don't have very much time, but what I do want to do is go back and see our favorite guru friend. <laughs> Can you please go to hell, sir? Thank you. Now, those guys take four, five hits now. Okay, so I shall give you a title, Swordman. Make sure you live up to it. And you need peace of mind. Meditate with me, eh? Alright, so there is a very good mantra. So... I'm gonna try... I know that I have like five minutes left before I need to stop playing. Um, but what I want to do is get back to the store. And I want to buy death. And then go back to town. So I might just do that. And then next time that'll give Renaissance a very nice place to go going forward. You can use the wing boots that he bought for me very kindly. <laughs> and then head up and onward into the mist. But yeah. I'm definitely going to get the death magic because it's useful. We have tons of money so I'm going to load him up 
so that when he plays his playthrough next time, that he's not going to have to go and buy a whole bunch of things. Oh, give me a break. All right. Let's not die here. Oh, don't kill me. This would be really bad. Oh, come on. Good a bow and arrow. Yeah, I definitely don't want to get roasted. But we did get a mantra, so we're not in dire straits. Go. Okay, these bees are a pain. I have no more red potions. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Something wise and smart. Get over here. How am I supposed to get in there? What am I supposed to do about this? This bee's gonna kill me. Okay, I'm gonna go see the meat man. Before I go to the store. I still have time. I have three minutes. <laughs> well, thank you for your meats. Okay, that way we're not gonna get wrecked. They definitely do have Olive Garden in Canada. I've never been to one, though. I've always wanted to go, if I'm being completely honest. I've just never been. All right. Hopefully this is the right place to drop. Yep, looks like crap. Oh my god. There, now I can play a little bit more confidently. Your ex-wife worked at Olive Garden and you're not a fan. Well, I can understand why you wouldn't be. Get out of here, you bee. Oh my god, I just want to get over there. Can I just get over here? Thank you. The platforming in this game is like a weird mixed blessing. It's fun. What sucks is if you fall here, and then you just feel bad. I like how jacked this guy is. Like, there's no way I would be able to stay on that ladder in real life. I would die. Okay, so let's get ourselves some goodies. You sell tools. I'll come here to buy, thank you. And we're going to get some death. That's always a good purchase. It's a stronger magic spell. And especially because we've handicapped ourselves with the physical offense, death is going to be pretty useful. Now, I might be wrong, but I feel like death is always the same price. No matter where you go. Because I think it was also 9800 in the beginning of the game. Yep, got you some death. And now I'm gonna run back. I'm gonna run back to the other the other spot and go see the guru again. The only good thing about tilt is um oh god, get out of the way. Oh my god. I do not have <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's alright. I was going to say, I don't have any red potions. <laughs> Tilt is good in the last leg of the game. But yeah, we still have magic. That's all good. We uh, didn't die entirely, but we're all the way over here. You know what I want to do is make it back to town. Um, make it back to town so that poor Renaissance can have some red potions. <laughs> that he's not just going in there with nothing in the middle of the mist. So let's go do that for him. Now, I wonder if getting the pendant also decreases your defense as well. <laughs> I'm only trying to return the favor that you gave to me last time. You bought me the best item in the whole game. Well, in my opinion, which are the wing boots. 
There's so much fun. Okay. Let's actually go back inside of town now. So you'll have a little bit of backtracking to do next time, good sir, but at the very least, you will have lots of things that you require. And we kind of cheated a little bit because we had less money before we died. <laughs> now we have more money. All right. So I'm like one minute over. Oh no, I still have 10 minutes. I have 10 minutes left, you guys. Okay. Uh, come here to buy. We're going to buy very very quietly. I would like, please, a red potion. Now, how many items do I have? Only four. We can hold eight. So I'm gonna get another one. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> I just accidentally smoked him. I'm gonna get one more red potion. And I'm gonna get at least one queen key. <laughs> Buy the, the Matok DVD. No, <laughs> I don't want it. I wonder why they just put that there all the time, like, if there's ever a spot where you can use it? I've never noticed one, though. I think you only use it in the very beginning of the game. So I'm pretty sure this is also the last place that you can sell jack keys. And I can't remember going forward if we need any more jack. I can't recall. But I'm gonna hang on to it anyway. And I'm gonna get one more queen key, because I know we'll need at least... At least one more. Uh, maybe not. I'm trying to think. It's so hard to think ahead. I know that there's at least one tower that needs a queen key. I think you need two. I think it's two. I think. Let's get two. And if... Renaissance doesn't want them, you can just sell them. That's cool. That's all good. It's all good. All right, so we have death. We have keys. We have red potions. What's our next? 15,000 is our next experience. Shall we grind? Shall we try to get one more level here before we end this part of the stream tonight? This is an easy place to grind, just murdering bees. Don't tell Nate. I'm not even getting the money because the money won't matter. We're going to make money when we come back, right? We're going to have a password and the password is going to bring us um, to an amount of money that'll be way more than the money that we'll collect now. You don't get to keep your money when you put in a password. You just get to keep your experience if you make it to a new rank. So we will spend a little bit of time here just grinding out while my time is almost up. <laughs> it's one of my favorite games. It's so hard not to want to play the whole thing, but it's also really awesome to get to play it with somebody else who also loves the game at least as much as I do. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the playthrough. I'm sorry I died three times. We could have done a lot more tonight had I not kept getting roasted at the, um, <laughs> the ripped dwarf guy. <laughs> but it is what it is. So, yeah, the next leg of this playthrough will be Saturday night. I think Renaissance will probably be planning to start around 11.30 Eastern Standard. On his channel, which again is linked on my channel page in the area that talks about this tag team playthrough. So if you're interested in continuing to watch, you should definitely go subscribe to him there. Even if you don't want to watch this, just go subscribe to him anyways, because he's a superhuman, good painter, very entertaining streamer, etc., etc. Worth a watch, most definitely. You'll start at 11 if you can, eh? It's been so quiet, you guys are playing. It's been a fun stream. Hey, no problem. 
I am going to be playing um, Golden Axe Warrior again. Probably going to be wrapping that game up tonight after this part is all finished. So don't go too far if you guys want to have more fun stream time with me. But yeah, if you got to go and you just came for Faxanadu, that's cool too. I can understand. I've really been enjoying myself, Great White North. And the fact that so many people are coming out to watch and that there's been a little bit of like what I think I called Faxanadu fever a while ago. Like it just thrills me that people are loving this game and that we're all having a good time. Yeah, Golden Axe Warrior is fun. I think I'm right at the end, mostly. I had a an anonymous tip to double check a bush that I think I tried to open up in the wrong way, so I might try a few different things when I get back there. Exactly, yeah, Max Impact put out a video today talking about exploits in Faxanadu and how you can get the death spell really early and also the magical shield which repels most projectiles and it was a cute little video. It's weird to be somebody else's video making inspiration, that's not something that happens to me very often. So I was grateful to hear that. It makes the Renaissance cry on cue. There's an orc coming for you. I'm glad that we've been able to put our differences about the pronunciation aside. <laughs> Here's a woody beauty. I'm going to go with the tree definition of woody on that one. Hope that's okay. <laughs> Almost there. So half this fun game battle is <laughs> making sure that we get to a state where when you do continue that you get to maintain your rank. Maintaining rank is uh, is important because it comes tied to money. And money is really important in this game. Barky Beauty sounds a little bit less uh, provocative. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. But yeah couple of more bee deaths. We can never show this to Nate. He can never know. I think they give, what, 50 each? Something like that? No, maybe not. My math brain's not working tonight. My math brain's on vacation. Thirty-seven to sixty-two. They're <laughs> not your adventure island bees. There we go. 150. 25 per. Thank you. Oh, there's no guru here. Uh oh. <laughs> Guess where we're going. We're going to the guru. Let's not die, shall we? Come here, you. It'd be super not to die. If I die, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> we won't die. It's all good. Be just my luck to grind for 20 minutes and then die. <laughs> but we're right here. It would take some pretty terrible circumstances for us to spontaneously die. Oh no! That's my alarm to stop playing. I'm terrified. I'm gonna use a red potion. I'm sorry, Renaissance. You'll have to do with two. <laughs> Damn you, pendant. You will be fine, absolutely. And if you really need one, you know where the store is. Haha, -ha, take that, sir. Have fun in your pit of death. A nice free I-5, that's fantastic. Okay, we get a title. We're heroes. Oh, what a nice note to leave off on. <laughs> Make sure you live up to it. 
All right, and our mantra. We'll meditate. <laughs> there it is. I'm gonna just snag a snapshot of that for our lovely friend, the Renaissance. Hopefully that'll be nice and clear. And we do have a different font, so have fun picking that apart. <laughs> I wonder why our fonts are different. That's so strange. Quick recap of what we've done so far. This is the third part of this. We are switching back and forth, doing a playthrough of this game, Fizanadu. I say Fizanadu, it's fine. She says Fizanadu, it's fine. It's fine, everyone. It's fine. Uh, first part was me. I played for an hour, and then Hungry took it for another hour, and now this is going to be the third hour. Let me tell you about what I did for the team when we started. I started off the game, got the ring, went to see the king, gave us an identity, uh, got the money, souped up a little bit, got some keys, got some red potions, got a dagger for our buddy, went back to the king, got more money, got more stuff for us, got some, uh, some magic, got some more keys, I think. We embarked, we got to the first town, we got a bigger sword. We then replenished two of the three springs that we needed to, to replenish. Got her some wing boots. Got her a couple extra keys. And I set her off. Here's what Hungry did for me. She got the pendant. That's pretty much all she did. Now, if you don't know what the pendant is, what the pendant does is it makes everything a lot harder. It basically makes us a lot weaker. So, let's say it takes three hits to kill a certain enemy. Well, now it takes five. So, you know, I think Hungry is clearly the MVP so far in this playthrough. Now, now that you're all caught up, we're in the mist. It's 11.33. Should I set an alarm? I think I can remember that. 12.33. Here we go. I don't need to talk to this guy. Where am I? I'm getting I'm getting hit by Willow all of a sudden. Can I do this? Yeah, I can. Screw this guy. Um, sure. Yeah, five hits. Five hits to kill Willow now. Here's the plan. Here is the plan. Because I'm pretty sure Hungry really enjoys going into... <laughs> towers that you really I don't think you need to go into at least one the one with the pendant we already talked about that I don't want to talk about it again what's in here oh this is the mark of queen okay no we're not doing this we are not doing this where the hell am I where are we um items I got two wing boots two red potions I need to find a town so yeah that was close I think Oh, did I get hit? Oh, okay. I'm at the old, uh... I'm at the wing boot part. Okay, so here we go. Let's fly. Poor... <laughs> Poor Hungry. Good sir, I gave us a challenge. Hungry, you know that I am... Y you know how I feel. Hungry and I have... Alright, this part is a little strange. Hi. You can totally run out of your stupid wing boots because this doesn't work sometimes. Okay. Hi, I'm flying over you. Uh, yeah. I'm having a ball. I'm totally kidding with Hungry. Get out of here. Yeah. I fly over you. So yeah, so here's my plan. I need some king keys. She got a couple queen keys. I don't think we need queen keys. I think we just need king keys at this point. I may even sell my jack key that I have, if I can. What I remember... And I put, I put a little Nightbot action here for you tonight. I did a Thanksgiving special playthrough of this game last year. It's my first year on YouTube. It's a lot of fun to make. I think it's five parts. Here we go. What is this? Okay, let's talk to this guy. And I seem to remember that I just need to get to this one tower at the end, kill the monster, get the onyx. And from that, we can then get an ace key that we need to get into branch. That's the next area. Which is my favorite moment of this game. When you come out of the mist into the wonderful, yes, the wonderful music of branch. Okay, uh, what? Uh, do I have room? Okay. 
Hungry might think I'm crazy. I'm gonna sell one queen. I'm pretty sure we do not need a queen key at all, but I'll keep one just in case. Then again, then again, I need space. Girl, I need my space. Still on about the mist, eh? Uh oh, what's happening? I gotta catch up with you guys, I know. Mist in a tree? Hmm, sure. Why wouldn't there be mist in a tree? Okay, let me... This is the first time we're actually gonna sell something. I'd like to sell you something, sir. Unfortunately, I can't sell the jack key anymore, which kind of sucks. I'd have to go back to the last town to do that. Okay, so now let's get one more king key, because I think we're going to need at least three. At least. So let's do that. Okay, so how are we looking? We're looking real good. I wish I could get rid of the jack key, but can't. And I'll be honest, I would love another red potion. Because with the pendant now, I gotta kill this thing in the tower, and it's not super easy. It's not that hard, but... Oh, the full plate, my friends. I gotta get the full plate. We gotta do that. I gotta get the full plate, my friends. These guys, I think, just give bread. Pretty sure. Screw him. Yeah, this part kind of sucks to grind because all these guys gave his bread. Actually, this is good. Oh my god, how many hits to kill these things? <laughs> Dude, was that eight hits? Are you serious? Oh no! Get out of here, buddy. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. You know what? Screw it, let's just let's get to the tower where we need to get and see how it, how it's looking. If I can do it. There goes my bread. There went my sandwich. Yeah, this place sucks to grind because all all these guys just give bread. Oh hungry. Oh hungry. Um, I don't think we even go up there. I think I just go up here. Well, I've certainly got enough bread. I don't need it, I guess. Um, hi. I hate these things. Oh my god, get off me. Don't you hit me off. Okay. Okay, here... Okay, we're getting close. I love how you cannot see... You only see the top of the tower there, because it's enshrouded in mist. Oh, that's where that thing was. Okay, so this is the enemy Hungry was talking about last time. That's where we gotta get through, this ace key here. I hate this guy. Just go, just go, just go. go. Alright, here's the key to this whole area, I think. If you go straight ahead, you will get to the Tower of Mists. If you defeat the dwarf who lives in the tower, and get the meteorites, come back here. Okay. Meteorite, I think he just means the onyx, which, which is always strange to me. Whatever, we gotta kill- oh, this guy, this guy, this freaking clown, just run. I don't, I don't know how to kill that thing, or, or, oh, God. no. I think you just have to take the hits. He just claps and he hits you. See this? See, see this action? See this business? Look at my life. My life just dwindling. Okay, uh, I need to kill this guy for some bread, which sucks. Or maybe I don't, let me see. Anything else? Give me some bread. Oh, we can get a free, uh, wing boots here. I'm doing awful. No! You know what? Doing it. I'm doing it. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Thanks, Ice Pirate. You're the best. Team Ren, unless Garaya plays some Lord of the Sword. Thanks, Pixel. Thanks, buddy. I know where my real friends are. Uh, I do need money, actually. We need to get to 52 and get that full play. I, I feel like maybe I should even do that first. You know what? That's the plan. This is where we can get the free wing boots, actually. Here's the plan. I'm actually going to get to 52 and uh, go back to town, get the full plate, maybe get some new red potions, and then come back here. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm nervous about this thing. You guys get off of me, please! 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 Let me just grind here for a few minutes. 
Let's grind it out, baby. Okay. Can I do this? Can I... <laughs> Can I just get hit back to the next screen? Yeah. So Eugene, what were you talking about? You didn't see my last stream? Are you, you are you saying it's not there, or you just missed the last stream? I'm not sure what you're saying. The music sounds so so. Okay, I can't read this right now. Give me that money. I need to keep... Oh, wait, I can just go straight through those little, like, holes there. That's good. Hello? Oh, God. Come on. Come on. I only have one red potion, so I gotta be careful, but I'm pretty sure I can fall straight through there and get very close to back to where I started, which is the town, which is what I want. Closer. Oh my god. These guys. These guys. You know what? Oops. I keep doing that. I'm not I'm not pulling any punches here. Alright, let me uh check in here. The Fedora mages suck. They drain a lot of life. Ugh, they're awful. This is the worst music in the game, in my opinion. I agree. Not that it's bad. That's just not as good as everything else. It's kind of depressing. It is. That's what makes it so great, the, tr the transition to the next area. It's great. The beefy arm dog is gonna get ya. Shh. Be quiet. You be quiet. Not a fan of these tunes? You mean just in the mist here? I bet I made sure to s be stocked on bootleg fig biscuits. Nice. Les biscuits? It's dissonant. It gets so much better after this part, yeah. Take your word for it. Can you mod your Xbox? I don't know. Um, I'm not a modder. I'm sorry everything sucks. Can we still be friends? Yes. You know I'm loving this. You know it's all in good, good jest. Everything is awesome. I'm back. Hi to whoever is new in the chat. Hello, Nicole. How are you? Okay, um, one more time, and then I'm, I'm heading back, because I should be pretty, getting pretty close to the to cashola I need. Come on. Huh! Okay. Close enough. I think. I hope. See what happens when we go down here. Nothing. Go down here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And of course, of course, I need 5,200. I'm at the town, and I don't have 5200, so let's do this all over, go find a stupid enemy that will give me some money. He won't, that's for sure. He will. Die! 5270! Nice. Alright, let's go get our full plate. Good boy. Head back. Um, I'll, grab, I'll grab some. I need some potions though too. God damn it. Ugh, let me just get my stupid full plate. No! No unnamed hero. If you've ever noticed, I like to yell at the character when I screw up. And I don't know what to yell at this guy because he doesn't have a name. In the Japanese version, you can rename him, but of course, I don't speak Japanese, so I don't know what I wrote when I did that. Okay, what do I want? I want the full plate! This, we don't have this, right? Let me just... Let me just make sure I'm not being a total idiot. No, we just have, like, the half plate, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, whatever. I'm sure. I'm sure! Yes, Eugene. Ren is so careful ignoring us. <laughs> did, I, did I miss something? Sorry, I'm, I'm a little... I just feel like I've only got an hour to try and get through. 
I really want to get to uh, the branch area. Okay, let's take this. Reports ran over too much salt. What? I'm glad you got it, Sod, because Ren has yet to. I d what am I missing here? What's going on here? What am I missing? What am I missing? I feel like everyone in the classroom is laughing at a joke that I have not gotten. Ren is so careful. Ignore I'm not ignoring you. What's going on? Damn it, Daniel! Bob, his name is Billy. What's up, Jason? A lot of names in the chat all of a sudden. Central Pennsylvania, what's up? Is that Al? We got Chris? Who do we got? What's going on? I was going to say the translation patch I have in the Famicom lets you name the character. That's pretty sweet. I thought it was Dave. Pretty great. Had a decent stream, gonna finish nice. You must be Chris then. Okay, I have no money. And I also have no red potions. I want at least two. Um... 800. Let's just get 1600 real quick and then we're off and I really hope this goes well. I really don't like this guy. Um, 1600, right? Okay. Come on down, sir. That was stupid. Oh, I, I should probably equip my new armor, huh? I'm really bad at that, apparently. Oops, that's not what I need. Armor. Full plate, yes! We are fully plated. Can I get some enemies that will give me money? Thanks for the bread. Thanks for the dough. do this, maybe. Just squeeze this guy into the corner. This'll work. A couple of quick uh, marshmallow squishes here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How's everyone doing? I hope you're all having a wonderful Saturday night. It's freaking cold, man. It's crazy. I started streaming, like, June... And I remember sitting here sweating when I started. And now it is ding dang cold out there. It's got a winter's chill, got a wind whipping around. I was wearing a scarf, a hat, and gloves tonight. And I kind of love it. These red potions better save me on my way through here. This is nerve-wracking because, like, I need to get through that tower and kill the dude. Because if I fuck up and I die, it's going to be freaking terrible. Alright, let's go get a couple red motions and then we are on our way. Get out of here, will you? What is this thing? Snake Man. You know what this kind of reminds me of in a weird way? Um, Return of the Jedi. Let me get out of here. Return of the Jedi, Jabba's palace, and he had that, like assistant next to him with like the snake head that kind of came out of his and it wrapped around him it reminds me of that a little bit anyone else no am i out of my mind die you bastard okay okay the waiting is the hardest part my friends Go ahead, as you were. As you were, sir. Okay. Uh, yes, this is where I'm going. Jump right up on the desk. Get immediate attention. His name is Fax, or Xanadu. Remember to rub that l like nub. Thank you, buddy. I would like two of your finest potions. Okay, one more. And you had to bundle up because of the fire alarm. Yeah. And my windows are all open now, too, so... I actually have a sweatshirt next to me in case I need it, but I think I'm okay. I think I set the bar pretty low for a number of deaths you can get away with. <laughs> Come on, now. Let's go. 
Why do I keep doing that? Um. Okay. Okay. Let's go on an adventure. Let's test ourselves here. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we're made of. See you, my friend. At least they, there is a lot of bread here, although I can't get this one, but that's okay. This is fine. Get two of them here. Only we need one. Super duper. I'm going up there, my back. What's straight here? Let me just... Is there something straight here? Should I go in here? These guys are just a jumping fool. This guy gives you, um, something. Do you know the magic of fire? I'll take now. Nah. Waste of time, buddy. Waste of time. We have death. I cannot forget that, actually. We have some hot death action that Hungry Soup is up with, so. No. No. No, sir. Okay, run away. What time is it? Oh, my goodness. I've only got... 40 minutes? Oh my god, can I do it? Can I do it? Can I get us to the greatest musical transition in the history of video games? That's probably pushing it. It's one of my favorites, though. And darn it, it's my screen. Colossal waste of time or anything. It's totally fine. Alright, buddy. Can these guys just get off my jock? Can you get out of here, please? Yeah, six hits to kill these bastards. Give me that. Okay, uh, I need to hurry the frig up and get out of here. I think they knock you back, yeah, if I'm on the ladder. It's, or if I'm jumping across a chasm there, it's gonna just not go, not go well for me. Let's wait to kill this thing. Let's wait to hit him six times. Cool. Wasn't that six times? Wasn't that not? Was that not six times, sir? There we go. Give me your sandwich. Let's just get out of here. I'm not worried about money right now. Yeah, you suck. All right, there we go. This guy is like Luigi. I don't know why I call him that, but he reminds me of how Luigi jumps. Okay, I think we're getting close here. Yeah. Okay, this is good. More bread. I got distracted by Luigi up there. You gonna come down here, pal? He's very frantic. He's probably on cocaine. I'll take your money. Alright. Oh, the bees! So out of here. Bye. Go. All right, here's where we gotta go. This guy's a jumping fool. So king, right? Okay. Yep. All right. We enter. Starting off strong. Starting off very strong. <laughs> oh boy, this is not gonna be fun. Christ, dude. Yeah. This is not good. You know what? I'm going to prep myself. 
Oh, I hate these guys. These are like little munchkin bastard freaking leprechaun dudes who are also on cocaine. And you know what? If I'm... You know what? I'm using a red potion already. I'm sorry. Sorry. I think you can get an elixir drop in this room if you kill these guys. Let me try this. Oh my god, I only have an hour. Come on, buddy. Stay with me. I want to try this a couple times. I'm pretty sure you do. Boomtown. You like that? Although, it's going to take... Why do I keep getting start? I have room. I am free from injury because of the ointment. Okay, it's ointment. Unfortunately, they time it out really well here that I don't think I can get to the boss in time. See you later, jagass. Go. Go. I freaking love this music. Oh my god. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it, man. Here he is. Look at that. The power of the ointment is gone. You know what? Can I just, like, shoot him? I can't shoot him through there. Okay. Let me... Oh my god, I only have one red potion. Here's the thing with this guy. If you can get him into a good rhythm, he's not so bad. You gotta get down the ladder, and you're gonna take a couple hits there. Right there. Right off the bat. I'm gonna try to use my magic. Yeah, there's just, there's just no way to do that. Well, that was very stupid. Okay. You can't even... Okay. I gotta watch my life. Three. Let's count how many hits this takes. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten! Eleven. Twelve. Baker's dozen. Thirteen. Four. Yes! Oh, I didn't even get the money. Who cares about the money? We got the freaking... I've got the Black Onyx. Which is the meteorite, apparently. Don't ask me how that works out, but it does. That wasn't so bad. I got him into a good rhythm. I felt solid. I felt smooth. Smooth, like a smooth sheen finish. Okay. Um, I've got my potion handy at the ready, because I still need to get out of here. Although, again, if I die, I hate how they hit you back. If you die, you keep the onyx. We'll still have that. So all I gotta do now is get back. Hi! Take it easy, guys. I gotta get back and talk to that dude I'm doing it who told me to bring back the piece of the meteorite for him. I'm gonna kill this guy because he's good for money. I, I could grind here a little bit, but there'll be time for grinding later, as they say. This is not good. This is not good. Okay. I'm gonna focus here. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Run. Run, Nameless Hero. I don't care about this guy. I should, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... Tempt fade here. Don't we have death? I didn't. Hungry? <laughs> I was gonna say, that magic doesn't seem so powerful. So now we're one for one for not equipping the things that we should be equipping. Because I did the same thing with the armor, and she apparently didn't equip our new magic. So, you know. We're two peas in a pod, I guess, you might say. You guys can get the fuck out of here. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I'll tell you what this game loves. Loves attacking you as soon as you come through a door. They love it. They absolutely love it. Oh my god, let's get out of here. Let's just get the hell out of here. Luigi? Luigi? Bye. Okay, can I get back to the town without taking any more damage? I could. Can you just fall? 
Let me get out of here. We're gonna need at least one more pair of wing boots, which I have. Which we have. Run. Run, sir. Okay, just get down here. Just get down here. Just get out. Get down here. Get down here. Get down! Oh my god, look at this. Beautiful job, nameless hero. Nice work, okay. Okay. Let's get some red potions. What do we what do we got here? I have slots for three. Let me get three red potions. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, your paintings are pretty. Thank you so much, Kane. Appreciate that. Give me your finest lager. Okay, so I've got 20... What is it? 27 minutes? To bring us to a part that is just beautiful. Whoops, I don't mean that. Guys, I have no idea what I'm going to do after this hour is up. If you guys have any suggestions, anything you would like to see, let me hear it. This game sucks you in, it sure does. What's up, Great White? How you doing, buddy? Turbo graphics games are ridiculously expensive at this point, and Genesis is readily available most places. I would like more juice. Give me more juice. Okay. Okay, so that's it. That's it. Good. We've got king keys. Wait a second. I've got only two. Dude, I think I need another king key. I don't think we need a queen key anymore. Hungry, what do you think? Can I sell the queen key to get another king key? I know we need at least... I think we need three. I really do. Ditch the queen. I think you're right. Okay, let's... Let's do that real quick. I'm pretty sure it's all king here at this point. And plus, don't let's not forget, this guy's gonna give us the ace king. What? The ace key. And I need a room in my inventory for that. So... I almost feel like getting rid of the, the wing boots. No. I kind of need that. Let's leave it like that, because I've got one slot for the ace, ace um, key. I cannot think of the word key right now. I'm going to get some meat. I'm going to take a page out of Hungry's book. This is something I never do. I'm going to see her buddy, who she loves. Mr. Bald, uh, like, elf-looking guy. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to give me another treatment, buddy. That felt great. Treat me again, sir. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your dried meats and wares. Um, I think we're good. I think it's... Ad kids, it's adventure time. I think we're off to... A very special moment. I think so. Are we enjoying ourselves? I know I have not been very interactive. As I said before, I've only got an hour, and I had a goal in mind, and I really wanted to do it, so... Uh, no. I will be I will be checking in, being more interactive, after the hour is up, which is in not very much time. It's 24 minutes. Let's go up here. Don't even need your bread. Now I do. Just turning me around, twisting me around, turning me, twisting me. I don't need you. Alright, here we go. I think this is it. So let's go talk to this guy again. I think this is it. As long as there are crazed dwarves. Shouldn't that be with a V? Isn't that the plural of dwarf? Anyway, the deadly threat of the meteorite will loom over the elves. Use this key to open the next door to get to conflict. Fight for the elves. My friends, here it is. Got the ace key, and it took... Yeah, I already had a slot. That's perfect. I should have gotten another king key. <laughs> I, I, I forgot to get another king key. I've got an idea. And this is purely in the spirit of teamwork, Hungry. I think what I might do is head back to the town before, get rid of this jack key, so we have another spot, get a third king key, and then get into branch, and then pretty much pass off the torch to you. I think that's what I'm gonna do. How does that sound? 
Is the key guy smoking? Yes, uh, there are a lot of dudes smoking in this game, which is pretty awesome. Maybe Ren should put Fig Newtons in his next batch of banana bread. Uh, that sounds a little overkill. <laughs> just like entire cookies in there. <laughs> See, like you cut a piece and it's just like, oh, look at the cross section. Oh, that's exciting. I've touched poison. So that, that proves it. That enemy is the absolute fucking worst. All right, let's go back. We're gonna do a little backtracking. If you watch my uh, Thanksgiving playthrough from last year, and I'd love it if you did, because honestly, that was the first time I really started getting into editing. I had a lot of fun with that playthrough. It's a lot of fun. Um, there's a whole little backtracking part I put in, which makes me giggle. I could probably just fall there, but let's not be let's not be hasty. I hope I'm not overlooking anything. Like I'm gonna need a queen key to get back here, but I don't think so. No. <laughs> All right, squid boy. I'll take the bread from the other two squid gentlemen up here. The squidly gentlemen. That should be a band. Okay, so we've got 20 minutes exactly. Let's do it. Let's go. Back to the last town because I cannot sell a jack key in this town. And I'm sure as hell hoping I can in the next town. And this is awesome, just have to take so many hits right there. What am I doing? Where am I going? I can't go down. Oh. What? Oh, hi, sir! Up close and personal with Mage Man. This is, this is really not a good spot to be in. Am I using a red potion already? Yes, I am. What is that thing? It's gonna kill me. I sure as hell I'm not dying right now. I'll tell you that much right now. Is that Shakespeare? Doesn't that look like Shakespeare up there? <laughs> okay. Oh, but we will need wing boots to get back here. And you know what? I have them. You know what? I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. It's a team effort. Hungry, if you gotta get wing boots, there's a place where you can do it and get a drop for wing boots for free. Totally for free. If you act now, you'll get your wing boots totally for free. Okay. Uh, man. These guys. Willow. Willow! Transform me! Speaking of Willow, I am going to stream Willow at some point soon, I think. That's like a winter game, so maybe like after the holidays, I'm going to stream a playthrough of that game. Because I really enjoy that game. It's a hell of a fun RPG, action RPG. My friend, will you stop? We grow up. Oh my god. Oh my god. How many times? How many times have I told you that you're getting death in the face? Oh my god. Yeah, I just deathed everything. That's fine. We should be coming to... I think this is the town here. Hello. Nice. Taking hits. So much fun. Can you get in there? Can I, I'd just like to get off the ladder. Thank you. Okay. Cross your fingers. Will you please buy my jack key? Please. Our keys does ring. If you're asking me, I do have that game, actually. Please. Yes, sir! Bill Murray, take my jack key, get it off my hands, get it off my conscience. Now, we're gonna need the wing boots, I'm gonna get another king key, and then we're on our way. Three king keys, and a partridge, and a pear tree. Is there a dried meat man? Yes, he is! Let's go see him again. Hello, good sir. Oh, yes. 180? That's a steal, buddy. All right, time's wasting, let's do it. It's modeled after Zelda 2. You know what else is? Uh, Battle of Olympus, which is a game that is hard as balls, but it's really cool. Okay, uh, let's just go. We're on a mission now. I have no time to waste or to even think about dealing with Willow right now. Five hits to kill Willow is about two too many hits for me. 
Yeah, yeah. Hungry Gariah calls those blue guys, like, space helmet guys, is that right? I frankly don't see it, but... Well, like, I, I could see it. I'm just used to the, calling them a little fanged blue... You get off of me! Blue fanged eyeball guys. Which clearly rolls off the tongue way more. Okay. No. Uh. Alright, buddy, where are you going? These things are so random, man. And every time you get hit, it turns you around. Have you noticed that? Pretty annoying. I must admit. See you later. See you in hell, as Hungry would say. <laughs> if I can steal what you're saying. Mm. I think it's potion time, my friends. But that's okay, because... I'll just pick up more in the next town when I get my king keys. Okay. Hmm. Where are we going? We're going straight. Here we go. Hello. All right. It's time to fly, my friends. I just saw Wicked last week, and as you may know, everyone, whoops, everybody, has the right, or something like that, or the chance to fly. I think it's our, it's our chance right now. Let's do it. Whoops, I forgot how to fly for a second, that's okay. No biggie, but this will save some time, this is nice. Hello! Oh, yes, death to the face! Yes, sir. Okay. Rikis' ring looks awesome too. It is a cool game. I don't think it's that expensive either. Should I check in with the with the with the big man here? Say a couple of prayers for the big man. Yeah, I was gonna say we're probably at a new rank. Soldier, hungry? We're a soldier. Make sure we live up to it. Okay. Oh my God, I've got 12 minutes. 12 glorious minutes. One king key, please, sir. Well, the hospital heals everything full. Yeah, but, again, I don't like hospitals. So. King key, and we'll just fill our inventory now with some red potions. That's very nice. Do I need anything else? Yeah, let's get some red potions. I'm just sit here and play games. Because what the hell else am I going to do? All right. Alright, my hairy, my hairy armed friend. So any suggestions of what I should play after this? Something just fun, maybe play for an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Um, let's just go for it, what the hell. We can always just drink one if we need to make room in our inventory. Not too concerned. I have ten minutes, guys. Ten minutes. Ten minutes of glory. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. You're of no more use of me. To me. To me or of me. God, I'm so nervous I'm, like, forgetting something. So if you liked this music, I'm happy. I want you to understand something. That it's so genius that this transition that we're about to hear is such a beautiful thing. As a kid, I remembered feeling like I was stuck in this mist area for a long time, because it's confusing as a kid. It's, it's confusing as an adult, like where to go, what to do, what you gotta do, what you don't really have to do. So when you finally figure that all out, you finally kill that boss, you finally get that thing, you go back to the guy, you use the key, yada yada yada, you get to go through and it's like, and you've been hearing that music for so long, this music, for so long, and it's cool. I mean, this, this is pretty groundbreaking, the whole mist, the way it looks, it looks really cool. But, when you get to that moment and suddenly it just clears up, and the music you're gonna hear is just... freaking fantastic. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't need your bread. I'm not interested in squid bread right now. I'm interested in hearing some glorious, glorious music. Alright, we ready for this? Folks, are we ready for this? Hungry, are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. Here we go. I'm not even gonna talk. Oh, 
like that part right there. Oh my god, the bubbly. The bubbly synth. How gorgeous is it? The transition, the, co the contrast, that's really the, the key. It's just like painting. The contrasts are where it's at, you know what I mean? Dismalness of the mist, and then boom. Oh, love it. And the other thing I truly love about this part of the game is that it actually, you actually are in the branches, so you can see, like, you know, you can't go everywhere. The whole screen isn't taken up by just a blank square screen. It's just the actual, like, winding paths of the, tr of the branches. Genius. Yeah. So I'm very happy with tonight's progress. This is all I wanted to get to. I will get you to the first town here, Hungry. You know what, I can even, um... Oh, you know what we might be able to do? A three-pronger. It's the old three-pronger. You know what I'm talking about. That's poison that I think is unavoidable. Let me get to the town. There is a weapon soup up here. The old pitchfork sword, which is sweet. Ow. Hit me in the foot. Die. Where are you? I, can't, I don't know where you are. Here we go. I think this is Conflate, so let's check in with the Guru, as we do. Say a couple words for the big man. We just got a new title already? Myrmidon. That's like Merman from Karnov. Nice. You need peace of mind? Okay. Don't grab this mantra just yet, Hungry, because I want to see how much that blade is. And if I can get us that, then I will do that. I think that I think it's here, I'm pretty sure. Serve me, sir. I've got seven minutes. I'd like to see your wares. There it is, 85, and the magic shield, holy smokes. Okay, well, I'm gonna get you the blade. Maybe you can work on the shield, because I don't have time. Sound cool? 85, let's do it. I need 6,000, I need six Gs. Let's do this. And then I will do a proper... Proper uh, check in with you guys here at the end. I'm gonna miss my money. No! Oh god, that was terrible. He just hit me right in the head, didn't he? What the hell? I don't even care. You still have three red potions, Hungry. Blaster Master is awesome. I love that game. Okay, that seems to be the fastest I can do this. Well, I could do that faster, but I'm afraid of him hitting me as I strike. And just like in Zelda, if you hit while you're shield is taken away from your body, you take damage. Let's not do that. Okay. Okay. Alright, we're getting there. Oh man, you're gonna get three-pronged action, Hungry. Are you so psyched? I'm psyched. That was good. I hit him so hard he shot the wrong way. You didn't know what the hell was going on. Boom! Did it again. I disoriented him. Oh my god, yes. Yes, sir. There is a dude in the next screen that can give bread, so maybe I should do that. Get some bread real quick. This is perfect. This worked out great. I'm pretty happy with this. that one more time. Play it again, Sam. Anytime a game music has that bubbly synth kind of sound, like do 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 count me in. I love that shit. Where am I? Where, where are you? I hate that they turn you around. That is one little nitpick I have, I have about this game. When you get hit, you get turned around every time. Hello? Hello, sir. Alright, I've got 
Three minutes. We're getting that that sword, baby. If I have to take red potion, I'll take red potion. I don't even care. You know what? Let's see our friend. He's not gonna charge that much. What the hell? I really have to catch up with you guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, good enough. Whatever. Oh, what am I doing? I should be just using this, right? Yup. I mean, why not? Oh, death to the face. Of course, I'm out of it now. Eh, whatever, who cares. No magic, and I'm gonna get some bread. Let's get some squid bread. Delicious. Could you imagine if they made, like, black squid bread? <laughs> that would be probably disgusting. I bet they do. Somewhere that is made. It might not be disgusting, actually. Who here likes black squid, like, pasta? You ever have that? It's pretty good. 80... What am I going for? 85? 85. Okay, I'm over time, but... I'm just gonna get the blade. I'm sure you're cool with that, Hungry, right? Cool. Listen, this is a team effort. I have to make executive decisions sometimes. I'm just gonna set you up for success right here, baby. And we're getting close. We're like, maybe two more, two more kills away. Of course, then you'll have to grind for the magic shield if you want. You don't have to do it. Totally wrong. I thought I would be getting closer. It was 85, wasn't it? Okay, so this should be it. Let's try not to die. Oh, that was sexy. Die! That was beautiful! Look at that! And just to get us over the mark. Hmm. Xanadu, I love you. Sir? Listen to me. And listen good. I want that three pronged beauty hanging up on the shelf over there. Oh, yes. And to celebrate, no, not the flute, because I didn't, we haven't beat the game yet, but I'm gonna have a little of my dark chocolate. I think I had this last stream too. Dark chocolate, cherries and almonds, which Hungry is a huge fan of, she said. Loves chocolate and loves cherries. Oh boy, that's a big piece. That's a big piece. That's a little piece. Okay. Okay, folks, I'm just gonna equip this. Not that we'd forget. Ready for this? There it is. Isn't that beautiful? Alright, I'm gonna select the right one this time. Yes! Look at that, baby. Mmm! Alright, that's it, folks. I'm gonna take a picture of the mantra. Another, we just, just, we just jumped three titles in like 17 minutes. That was impressive. You need peace of mind. Let's all meditate, everyone. Why 5-3? Why 5-3? Is the world the way that it is? Here, let me find these other letters here. All right. So last time the Renaissance left us, he had given us so many good things. We have um, the trident equipped. We can't see it right here now. Um, we also have the, gosh, I forget what the, the armor's called, but it's the really good armor, the best armor you can have beforehand. Um, actually, let me just go here. We have the large shield, the full plate. There we go. We have death magic and <laughs> We have two rings. We need another ring. There's our fabulous pendant. Um, and yeah, we have some other stuff that we need to, to get our hands on. Like, the next part of the game will have us dealing with getting the battle armor and the battle suit. No, the battle suit is the armor. And then there's the helmet. And then there's some kind of wand. And then we also need the dragon slayer sword. So I don't know how far we're going to get tonight. But what do we have? Three king keys and three red potions. 
That seems reasonable. I feel like... I feel like we're going to be alright with three. I think. <laughs> I think. We'll see. I'm tempted to buy a fourth, but I think we'll be okay with three. Okay. Now I think we have to exit to the other side of town here. Because we can't go this way. That's right. I think we're in daybreak, aren't we? You'll find the legendary shield and helmet in the world of Branch. You can't stop eating crystallized ginger. Mm-hmm. I am a guardian of the guru. He's an important person. Um, a couple of years ago, I had a really bad stomach problem. Like, kind of an unknown stomach ailment, I guess. And I started eating ginger candies, and I could not stop. Like, they are so good. Okay. So, hey, get over here. So I'm pretty sure we have to go to the left first, and then we have to go up on those ladders eventually, but I want to go left first. Oh man, this poison. Am I underwater? No. I am not. You buy for stomach problems, but they're just delicious, eh? Yeah, I hear you. Finally, I get to stab my worm head friends. There we go. Oh, hello. I hate these guys. They are my most unfavorite enemy in this game. So this should be the Mark of King, I believe. Okay. Now hopefully we don't mess this up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, not messing it up for sure. I've used key. And always a good sign when they give you a bunch of bread enemies at the beginning of the area that you're going into, right? Am I going to be able to get by these guys? Have I ever mentioned that I'm really happy that there's no timer in this game? Because I'm pretty sure a timer would have me pretty screwed here. Hey Myers! How are you? Hopefully well. Hopefully well rested. After that battle kid extravaganza last night. I did check out your archive, by the way, and did happen to notice that you made it. Okay, so before we go fight this guy, um, we're looking for the battle suit and the battle helmet, which we're going to find. One piece is with this big arm dog head guy. So hopefully we'll have some luck. The scary music. Oh gosh. I think he's pretty easy with the trident. He shouldn't really get us. Renaissance did such a better job fighting this guy last time. Okay. Just keeping an eye on my health. There we go. And I'm not even getting that. Because I don't want to accidentally have to fight him again. <laughs> okay. There, we have the battle helmet. So the thing about the last uh, armor and weapons and all that is that you can only put it all on once you've got everything. So it's a matter of making sure that we go through and collect all the items. And that'll be fun. Yeah, I could have went and ground some bread, but here we are. We made it. Okay, get down here, you. These guys are scary. Because they'll, like, throw themselves at you. Out of nowhere. That guy's also good to grind for money, but I don't think I actually... I actually want to. <laughs> I don't want to grind that guy. Because he's just trouble. And of course that bread ghost gets me. There we go. Come here, friend. Give me your delicious bread meats. Alright. It really is good, Myers. I'm honestly shocked at how well it's held up over time, you know? Like, I'm not, I'm not surprised because I've always really loved the game, but nostalgia goggles are strong for a lot of people, and I feel like, for me, it's not really nostalgia. Like, it's just a good game. It helps that I played it as a kid, you know, to make me love it, of course, but I certainly feel like it's worth playing, and I wish that more people would play it, for sure. Um, yeah, I'm glad that we're on the same page, Renaissance, because it would be, <laughs> it would be really strange if we weren't. 
So I think you came from the bottom of that ladder. This poison is like unavoidable. The grinding is not necessary to progress. Um, all the grinding does is gives you more experience so that if you die, you come back with a specific amount of money. And that's about it, I think. Sometimes it's even easier just to die instead of trying to make your way out of a place because you will have uh, spent out your money or whatever. And if you just die, you come back with more than you had before. So um, yeah, you don't really need to grind. The only reason I might grind is to get a little bit more cash if we want to buy, well, if, when I want to buy the next magic upgrade, which we didn't get, right? We didn't get tilt yet. No. Nope. Yeah, so that's my plan. I'm just gonna go see the guru for good measure. Because I do need peace of mind. Alright. And look, our password's already different. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's definitely a must play. I honestly can't get get enough of this one for sure. Um <laughs> I, I hate moving forward in this part. I hate these damn mages. They shoot me in the head with fire. Which is so rude. It's very, um, what do you call that? It's very much uh, a dying world, you know? And one of the great things about this game is you're helping to restore a world back to its proper function in a lot of ways. So you kind of start out and it's really gritty and dark and miserable. And then the further up you go in the tree, the more light there is and the more sun there is. and all of those types of things. So it's a really nice contrast. I very much enjoy it. Now, the only reason I'm kind of worried right now is if I die, I'm screwed because I have exactly enough keys for this area and <laughs> I have the tendency to die. So I'm hoping that that won't be the case. But this door requires a king key as well. Okay, so there's a couple of different things that we can do. Um, we need to try to find um, the battle suit. We need the wand. Oh, some ointment. <laughs> Don't be afraid, I shan't die. That's very kind of you to say. I hope you're correct. Free from injury because of the ointment. Okay. Um, okay, so if we fall down here eventually we can save ourselves needing to go find a key this guy honestly shoves you off the edge if you're not careful um, but I don't want to go there just yet I think we need to come back this way let me think for a moment we just went through the key or the door at the top of the ladder we have to come in get the things I think we need to go down there anyway pick us up an hourglass Oh, the ointment's already worn off. I thought too long. Oops. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's always very confusing. I feel like we could go down there now. I don't think it really makes a difference, but I feel like I'd rather wait. I'm just, what am I waiting for this guy for? Get out of here. Because this shouldn't be a door that needs a key. And I don't think we need a key to get out. Okay. Let's go. Um, I think I need to go down this ladder. I think. Uh, oh no, I think that that brings us into the place where we're going to go later. Uh, where we can fall down into instead. Don't you jump on my head, sir. I need a key to get back out? I hope not. I think we can always just die if we don't want to go back out. I'm going to try going up here first. Get away from me. Oh my god, do not kill me. Because I think this is the way forward. You got to go wrangle the kid. You doubt you'll be back before the end of the hour, but you'll check in. Okay, thanks Eugene. Have a good night. If I don't see you. Uh, I don't want to go this way. I think that's the way forward. I know we need to go down there. This is the way... I think this is the way to the thing with the hourglass, so let's not go that way. Let's go over here instead. I'm gonna have to take a red potion. 
He's the real battle kid. Oh my goodness. Nothing truer has ever been said. Okay, get down there. That's what I thought. Okay, I really don't want to die here. That would be really terrible. There's a guy hiding behind that post. Okay, I'm gonna use my... I'm gonna use a red potion. Why risk it? There's really no point in risking it. Alright. Let's see over here. Right. Okay. So, we need to go this way. I'm gonna go up. <laughs> I'm gonna go up and fight that guy instead. Because this fight's way easy if you fight him from the top. Oh, come on now. Get out of here. And I like how they put the little dudes behind the little curtains there. They always look like curtains to me. Luckily, this guy doesn't have any projectiles. He just comes over here and jumps right into your fork. So we'll kill him like this. Much better than me trying to actually fight him legitimately. <laughs> and there we go. We've got our battle suit. Got the battle suit. There we go. And so we can't put them on yet, right? So I was saying you need everything for the final outfit, so to speak, until you can put it all on. Hi, Fries. How's it going? Back for some more Faxanity Tag Team. And we also need to go up here. So we're going to do that as well. I know you're just going to jump down the ladder at me, so can you hurry? Come here. There we go. Yeah, these never really look like posts to me, just curtains. Oh, give me a break, sir. What are you up to? Harassing me? See? Come on. I'm on a schedule. Yikes. There, go down there. Back to hell from whence you came, shall you? Okay, get out of here. Over there. Excellent. I'm so glad you followed my direction. Okay. So this is the other item that we need. This is the magical rod. I have no idea what that does. I know we need it. I don't know why. I think it's just part of the costume or part of the final armor. And just spam this dude. Okay, so we're done down here. Now, the biggest pain in the ass is getting back out this door. I hate it. <laughs> Can you please move? Hi, Deviant. How are things? I know we chatted a bit last night there, but glad to see you. Okay, get over here, you weaselly guy. Okay, this ladder is like the worst part of the game because you can't get up. There's a blue guy that walks down here and just shakes his stick at you. If I try to move, he just knocks me back off the ladder. <laughs> Which is just like ridiculous. So sometimes... <laughs> Great. If we die here, it's not a big deal because we need to go back anyway. Uh, we need to leave this area anyway. So sometimes you're lucky and you get into this position on the ladder, which is random. I find like I can't get myself to face the guy if I want to. Um, but sometimes you can and then you're all good. So eventually we're gonna come back here and leave, uh, go up that way and continue on to the next part. But for now, what we need to actually do is exit and we need to go back and talk to uh, the guru in the town that we were just in. And what that's gonna allow us to do is get our hands on a ring that we need to go on to the next part. So there's a mark of king by the keyhole. Really? Oh, then I'm gonna have to go back and get another key. Shit. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna just die. Because that's just gonna send us back to town. We get to keep all of our items. And that way we don't have to go key hunting. 
So maybe I should have let Mr. Guy whack us to death. Here we go. Here, we'll just let these guys kill us. That's just easiest. Okay. Sucks because we lose our experience. But on the bright side, we don't have to go too far. Because we have all three parts now. So it says, Don't rely on your magic power alone during the last fight against the dwarves. You can wear the battle helmet and battle suit only when you have the dragon slayer, which is our sword that we're looking for. You will not be able to return us the dragon slayer until we have true peace here. This ring will open the door to Dartmoor. Take it with you. And now we have the ring of dwarf. So that's perfect. And so if we go into our inventory, we now have that third ring available to us. I think there's one more ring left that we need. Um, maybe one more type of magic. Um, and I think that's about it. Uh, before we go, though, we have the one king key that we need. Because I can skip the door that we were just trying to get out of by going in through the other way. And we need one more key to get out. No, we have the ring to get out into Dartmoor. So we're going to be okay. We're good. We don't have to go back and go key hunting. Um, I just want to see what this guy's prices are on red potions. Because I know in the next area, I think they're like 1500 a piece. Something like that. They're like extravagantly expensive. Yeah. Let's get a few of these. Now I do have to keep a slot open for an hourglass. How many of these do I have? Three? And I have an hourglass I can hold eight items. Um, I'm gonna get a few more of these. Thank you, Bildo Tree with a beard. <laughs> oh man. And I'm gonna get one more, I think. We're gonna stock up. This is unlike me, but I'm playing for two now. So I can't neglect our dear friend. <laughs> our dear friend Renaissance, who will be taking up the torch. All right. So, uh, I guess we can go and see the guru just for kicks. He's Bill cousin, Bill's cousin, Beard Dotree. Nice. You're like my unborn child. She's thinking for two now. Yep. <laughs> did you say that because I just said I'm playing for two? Or did we just have the same weird brain thought? Because that's disturbing. <laughs> hey, Saad. And welcome, David. Nice to see you. That's great. Glad to have you on stream. So we need peace of mind. He's going to meditate. All right. I don't actually know. I just come here for fun. It's just a nice place to be. If you guys ever watch the Renaissance's Let's Play of this, you'll see he played the Japanese version and everything is Christian. Like the guru is holding a rosary. Uh, thanks, buddy. Um, yeah, and then there's a cross behind, behind him as well. It's interesting. You find this game is hard retro? I think you've watched me stream this before at some point. Pretty sure that that's the case. I'm just gonna kill our little squid friend one more time. Mr. Squiddy. Yeah, exactly. Jesus is even there. Like, that's pretty intense. It's pretty cool. I always find it so interesting that North American localizations just scrub all of that out of them. You rented it, got stuck, and quit. Well, I don't blame you. I feel like I would have done the same. Except... I had the game. So I actually got to take a lot of time with it. Okay. So back here again. And instead of going across... Um, I gotta jump there. I always forget. Instead of going across, we're gonna go down this pit this time. I hope I don't need a key at this door down here. I don't think I do. So there's that hourglass that we need. 
Um, hourglasses essentially freeze enemies on screen, which are really helpful for a variety of reasons. So I think that that door in the corner there is a door that we can exit from that we don't need a key for. But I'm not going to try because I think you need a key to get back in here, which I don't want to do. So, look at this guy. Get out of here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's pretty neat, eh? I guess I gotta get down there pretty fast. Oh, come on now. Come on. Get out of here. Oh my god, turn around. <laughs> I'm stuck fighting behind this post. That's terrifying. Holy smokes, we are almost dead. That is no good. Good thing we bought so many red potions. <laughs> Yikes. I keep forgetting I have magic. Oh my goodness, I just remembered. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we definitely do have magic. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> I get so swept up. Okay, so this screen is good for grinding. Um, I might kill this guy a bunch of times because we're gonna need to get, I think tilt is about, what is it, like 15,000? 15, 15,000 golds? Something like that. If anybody has a backup gaming headset, Five Below has a bunch, at least mine does. So next time you're there, take a look. Nice. Okay, we have the hourglass. That's going to be helpful for one of the boss fights that's coming up. So I think apart from tilt, which is a cool magic that tilts, uh, we don't really need too much else. So this guy is just easy cash. So I'm gonna just spend a little bit of time farming him before we head into the next area. Crosses in Castlevania, even churches in Simon's Quest. Is that so? I guess so, eh? Because you throw the cross item? Like, is that technically a cross? Or is it meant to just be like a weird boomerang? I haven't really thought about it. Do we need two hourglasses, Renaissance? <laughs> I could pick up another. What do we have here, anyways? Four red potions. Ah, we'll pick up another one for fun. I don't know that we'll need it, but... The music's cute when you play it, so that'll be fun if you need to use one up next time. There it is. There's a church in Jekyll and Hyde as well, eh? Hmm. Hmm, intriguing indeed. Yes, that room. It's so important. Tilt and the hourglass together make magic in that space. Yeah, the next area, I feel like it gets difficult. Like, really, really tough to progress. And, um... It was like everything is trying to kill you as soon as you get into the next spot. Anyway, I'll show you when we get there. Man, time is just flying. I have what? I've been playing 25 minutes already and I've barely gotten anywhere. I've been fighting this blue guy. Man, oh man. Hey Jane, welcome back to the stream. How has your week been so far? I keep forgetting what day it is. I keep thinking it's Sunday and it's not. Not even a little bit. It's like midweek almost. Man, oh man. Rosaries are in Castlevania. The clear all enemies, really? I didn't know that. Huh. Interesting that they picked and chose, eh? Which games got uh, kind of washed of all their religious connotations. Definitely feels like a Sunday. All right. Hey, and Link. Oh, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> How was my Saturday? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I know. I don't know why my brain's all turned around. I'm just tired. This weather's had me feeling really, really out of it. Yeah, things have been going all right. It's been cold. I haven't been enjoying that aspect of it. I can't wait for 
Christmas. As weird as that sounds, I can say that now that um, Remembrance stays out of the way here without feeling too guilty. Okay, we're almost there. It did get really cold out of nowhere, eh? I know. I'm looking forward to April of next year. <laughs> you like how this enemy's eyes twitch left and right like he's taking an eye exam. I know. I never notice this enemy very much when, when I'm playing because I'm concentrating on looking at the distance between me and him. But I agree entirely. your favorite time of year. Too bad it's been ruined by campfire. Oh, uh, yeah. That must be so terrible, Retro. I'm sorry. What about Festivus? Yeah, I don't think so. Festivus for the rest of us. Indeed. <laughs> Sir HC Man, I'm with you in the I'm Over Winter Club. Let's have it just be not snowy anymore. That would be super. Okay, good. So this was that door, remember I was saying? We shouldn't go in there because it brings us to the place with the hourglass. That's what I was getting at before. Look at this guy's gonna jump on our head again. So we're back inside where we got all those other items. This is where we got stuck with that person with the poking stick. Can I just poke you off the edge, please? Okay. So we've fully explored this spot. We're going to come up for the turd man here. I think it's the first time I've played with a turd man. Considering you've never gotten snow, you'll take some of mine and I'll take your 150 15 degree summers. Sounds like a plan. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't think I need to be on top there. No, it's a dead end. Maybe something spawns up there. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. There we got him. And some bread. So if we go down below, this just brings us back to the other little bread guy. Um, you remember when we got the wand, there was like a spot on top? I don't know if you remember, but that's where that goes. So we don't have to worry about it. Okay. Oh, I guess I can't go this way. Nope. There's a ladder here I didn't see. Where are you, you boogity man? How much is 115 degrees Fahrenheit and Celsius? Does anybody know offhand? Sounds like 40 terrible degrees. Okay, go away. Can you just come over here? He's gonna get us anyway. It doesn't matter what we do. Get out of here! Oh my god, the enemies? Are evil. Okay, 46 degrees. Oh my god. Holy crap. That's ridiculous. I definitely haven't experienced heat that hot. Whew, okay, we made it. All right. Oh, hello. Daydrake is the town at the border. I thought it was supposed to be Daybreak. Have I never just noticed that spelling error before? Okay. Hello. I sell keys. What would you like? Uh, do I need any more keys? Where do we go next? We go into the fortress, don't we? We definitely don't need Queen. Um, I don't know if I need more King Keys. Um, hmm. You'll have to see, yeah, definitely see if your game has that misspelling. That'll be a curious thing. Ah, uh, goodness. I wonder, I'm trying to think right now. Sorry, guys. So we go, go into What's on the other side of this? I'm trying to see the game in my head and it's not working. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to buy this. 
because we did get a little bit of extra cash. Okay, just in case. I don't know that we need many more keys, but this should be where my favorite magic is. Hello, I sell tools. Okay, so we've already gotten the giant blade, so we don't need to get that, but we are gonna get tilt. And tilt is a wonderful magic that goes in like a sweeping motion, so down first and like, like a big backwards check mark. So you can get stuff at the top of the screen and that's really handy because there's certain enemies that are coming up that tend to stay near like the top of the screen which are a pain in the ass because you cannot reach them. All right. Wonderful. Okay. And we have just enough left for one more red potion. An Xmas potion, indeed. And we might have enough to go see our favorite deli meats man. He's my favorite. And there's a nurse boy in here. Oh, hello, nurse boy. The guru of conflate has the ring of dwarfs. So if you screwed up and you forgot to go back to see the guru where we just died and went to, this person will tell you, hey, you should go back. But what they don't tell you is why or what it's for. And so you're like, why can't I move forward? And then you never know. So at least they give you some kind of hint on the bright side. <laughs> Dried meat to bring energy for 500? Okay. Oh, thank you. So the car fire earlier in the summer was near you. You were worried you'd have to evacuate. It was raining ash. The campfire is about 80 miles south near where you used to live, but you're getting smoke. Yeah, that's got to be so unnerving. I remember you talking about that earlier in the year. And I'm really glad that you're all right. But I really hope that that gets under control pretty soon. Have not seen you for a while. You'll find a magic cane when you get above the Tower of Pillar. Yes. The Castle of Dartmoor is a complex maze. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's true, but I feel like this guy, if you see him at a certain experience level, he'll give you a free battle suit. I've heard that, and I think I've seen video of that, but I've never done that on the bright side. <clears throat> You're not in fire danger, smoke bad air, the whole thing's dampening the season, no kidding. It's completely gone. That's awful. I can't even imagine how much that would affect um, a community, you know, and the people there. It's nuts. You're the warrior everyone's talking about. Can I have your autograph? Are you busy now? Well, will you come to visit me? My name is Moto. Please don't forget. We have a fan, you guys. Renaissance, I was just saying, and I'll, I'll just go back for a moment. I think the guy in this bar, and I don't know if this is true, but I feel like I've read this and seen this somewhere. I think this guy here... If you're at a specific level, and I don't know which level, will give you a free battle suit if you're at the proper rank. Not entirely sure. You like how I said Moto? Moto definitely wants it, that's right. She wants our wiener whip. That is definitely the case. But yeah, I think that that's the case, where we could go there with a certain rank and get a free battle suit. Not the battle suit, sorry, the full plate. Full plate is what I mean. Did you find the magic cane? I bet you're hoping I did. This is me trying to teach you a lesson for asking stupid questions. Just kidding. All right, let's go in here. Our peace and solace building with our guru friend. We need peace of mind. He'll meditate with me. And there it is. Okay, there is our password. Hey, Bartan, how are you? How is uh, Car November going? Still well, I hope. I don't know how it could ever not go well. 
This part sucks. I hate this screen. I've died here a lot. And it's never any fun. Because that guy from the top comes down and gets you. And then that guy over there also gets you. You're at 10.05. Holy smokes. Every time I talk to you, you're doing better and better. Which is good. You would hope that that would be the case. Awesome. I'll have to try to catch you again soon. I haven't been able to catch you for a few days there. But fantastic. I'm so glad to hear. Get over here, marshmallow friend. I don't think I need to go up there. Nope. Come on. Haha. -ha. Take that. I deathed him. Alright. So. This is the door that if you don't have the ring from the guru, you can't go in. But we can. So here we are. And this is where things get a little bit nuts. Equip that tilt. Um, if you want me to. I never usually equip tilt until I'm ready to use it. Because it takes up so much magic. And we're getting into the last, uh, the last stretch here. Remember these guys? And when they were scary? And also when they took four hits, now they just take two hits. <laughs> the story behind this game's name is funny and interesting. Sorcerian, a PC game, which was one of my first RPGs as part of the series it's based on. Oh goodness, Renaissance, it's fine. It's all good. I rarely, rarely use magic, as you can tell. I completely forgot I had that option. So, it's no problem. <laughs> it was funny. In Renaissance's leg last time, I bought death and didn't equip it. And he went to go use some magic, and he's like, why is this magic so weak? But it's just because he hadn't equipped death and was still using Deluge. Alright. Um, I think these are all just monsters that we can't fight because we're indoors, and I don't want to waste precious magic on them. So I'm not going to fight them. Uh, all these doors are that way. Where we do want to go, though, is down below here. Oh, come on now. Oh my goodness, David. It is all good. It is all good. Look at this guy. He's chasing me into a corner with his giant, giant club. That is a daunting, daunting thing. Okay. And I don't mind taking uh, some suggestions from Renaissance since he's stuck with all of my terrible decisions. Like getting the pendant. Okay, so you can kind of see down below. Uh, oh, that guy goes through walls. We need to get over there. There's a town in there. So we're going to actually fall down the hole. Hopefully not die on the way. Give me bread, sir. There we go. What is in here? Oh, <laughs> just an angry dude. All right, goodbye. <laughs> yeah. All right. Falcom, the company behind Ease, has another popular series, yeah, called Dragon Slayer. Xanadu. Mm-hmm. In Famicom and Xanadu, exactly. Sorcerian is Dragon Slayer 5. That I didn't know. I did know about Faxanadu being Fazanadu. I just say Faxanadu to get under people's skin, har har. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. I actually just bought a compilation for Saturn. It's the Falcom Classics compilation. And it has Xanadu, Dragon Slayer, and Ease, the original. Um, I was hoping they might be in English, because it looked like there might be an English option, but there definitely is not for Xanadu, which I wanted to play. Uh, but you can apparently play Dragon Slayer in English. So I'll give that a whirl someday. That'll be exciting. So it seems you're right about the full plate being free. That's cool. <laughs> Wally, suckas? Why are we suckas? You're the one that's here watching, so you're in the sucker club, sir, whether you like it or not. Good evening, by the way. Legacy of the Wizards, the fourth Dragon Slayer game. It's your favorite. Well, flip side, are you found a friend in the Renaissance? Because, yeah, <laughs> there you go. He also really loves that game. He has like a full playthrough on his channel. He adores it. That's one game he's been asking me to play for a while. And I told him, I won't play it unless you're hanging out with me because 
I don't know anything about the game and I feel like it would take forever. Search inside the castle. You should find a guru. I thought he was going to say, search yourself and then go off on the philosophical route. Okay, so we're looking for a guru in the castle. This is my favorite bread friend. Oh, hello. He's so happy. He just brings me such joy. 800. All right, we'll pay for some, some healing, even though there's a bread guy right outside of town. Thank you for shopping. I'm not going to the hospital unless we want to go see our little church boy. Nope, just the Italian man. I don't think we need any more keys. Pretty sure we don't need any more keys. I don't think he sells anything special. I think it's still just king and queen. Or just king. No thank you. One of these meat stick Mondays, I'll have to play demon attack. Yeah, I can definitely get that rolling for sure. It's weird. I think I told you before, but my Atari does not capture well. It only captures like foreground graphics or background graphics and not bowl. <laughs> now, let's see. I don't think he sells anything different either, but he does sell red potions and the giant blade. And see, the giant blade is now a billion more dollars than it used to be. All right. You would hope that it would be very high quality beef. Uh, and we can't go any further. Okay, let's stop in and see the guru in case the worst happens to us so that when we croak, we end up back here in this lovely place. Oh, hello. I shall give you a title, superhero. <laughs> Make sure you live up to it. And I think the highest rank comes at 35,000, maybe something like that, 35,000 experience. I don't think I've ever gotten it. It might be more than that. Maybe not. Maybe it's higher than that. But I never get it. I usually finish the game around superhero. But yes. Let's see how far we can get here. What time is it? 9.19. So I have another... 15 minutes? I don't know if I can finish what I want to do in 15 minutes. Huh. Oh, get out of here. See, I'm a little bit nervous because if my time runs out... Oh, I see what you're doing there, Renaissance. I know why you want me to finish. And frankly, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you even a little bit. What if somebody opened a supermarket in an RPG world? Oh, I didn't want to fall down here. The weirdest thing I've ever found in an RPG was somebody selling cake in a dungeon. Like, buried in a dungeon. Not even in a place where you might easily find that individual, but like, buried in a dungeon. Uh, okay. Oh, goodness. I don't think this is the right spot. This does not seem familiar to me. But there's just some... Oh, there's people in here. I thought it was just going to be more monsters trying to kill us. Go see the guru in the castle of Fraternal. Okay. Dragon Slayer is in the hands of the King of the Dwarves. Who I often call the wrong name. Oh, hey. Oh, please don't murder me. Get out of here. Good lord. How about you don't kill me? That would be super. I don't want to have to use my red potion. Don't make me do it. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> um, as bad as it is, I still don't actually know what it is. I think I always call him... I always call him General Grievous, which I know he's not. Isn't General Grievous like that four-armed guy from Star Wars? You know, that guy that fights... Um, Oh god, I don't even know. He's from- he's like in the prequels or something. Oh god, I always call him General Grievous. I can't- I can't help myself. Some of the Tales games let you cook food. 
And so there's stores for fruits, veggies, meat, dairy, etc. That's cool. Hey, Red Ox, welcome back. Oh man, pretty complex job system. Give your characters different statistics. You have to send them to college. No kidding. Wow, that's neat. That's really neat. Oh, get out of here. Oh, good, he's stuck on a wall. Oh, get out of here, you bird head. No. Oh, good lord. Okay, we're getting wrecked here. These guys are terrifying. They get you so good. I'm pretty sure I need to go up. I don't think I need to go along the bottom. I think that just leads us to a jar of poison. I should probably also have a red potion. Oh, I made that jump. That's like the longest jump in the game. Yeah, see down- oh, I guess you can't see, but see down there? That potion is poison, and it's pretty much shitty, because you walk into the screen and then there it is. You touch the poison, and then that sucks. So we can't go in this door yet either, by the way. There we go. Yeah, those guys kind of lunge at you. Oh, the snake is coming for me. I don't think I need to go up here. I think there's just badness up here. Yeah, there's just badness up here. Uh, I need to go over there. No, I don't. I have to go up and around, actually. Oh god, this guy's gonna kill me. Don't do it. There, we're gonna use this. You go to the RPG supermarket, you pay for everything on a credit card, and someone else defeats the villain. <laughs> Interesting. They call college training fields technically optional, just very beneficial. No kidding. Yeah, I think I'd like something like that. I like something that has a high level of um, character management inside. I like it deep down inside. I feel like on the outside, I'm like, ooh, why would I want to play something so complex? But I think it would be good. <clears throat> After watching... Um, EC Myers play some Hide Lied last night. I think that that's on my my list of games to play. Okay, you're gonna stay up there. Okay, that guy's dead. You think I'd like Sorcerian? Probably. Probably indeed. All right. Hide Lied does seem interesting. It seems frustrating, but I think I have patience beyond what a lot of people normally do for these types of games. Like RPGs and older games in general, so I feel like I'd be I'd be pretty happy with it. Highlight looks terrible. I love that song though. Uh hang on. Was I so oh shit. No! Why did I fall off the ledge? All I did was come out of the door. Oh, that's frustrating. Now I gotta go all the way back around. That's alright. Um, damn it. <laughs> Yikes. I was wondering if we needed to go see a guru, but I think we need to go see a guru in the castle. Damn it. Nothing hit me down. It was weird. It's like I just fell over. It's a bunch of crap. Okay, we're gonna kill this guy again. It won't take us too long. I'm not trying to stall or anything, Renaissance, I promise. <laughs> I made Evo look fun, but after you thought about it, that game was a lot of grinding. You're absolutely right. It might be it can be frustrating, but it's interesting what they can do with early RPGs. Yeah, I agree, Flipsider. I think it would be a fun time. Like I appreciated games like Miracle Warriors for the Master System. People find that game a big grind, but I think it's so good. Once you get over a couple of the, the little things, it's it's excellent. I do love grinding. You know, I'm not a person who hates grinding. It's a necessity in a lot of these games. Oh my goodness. Get out of here. All right, I forget where to go in here. Nothing about Evo looked fun to you. Are you alone and thinking you'll never Play it again after watching. Ah, well, that's all right. Different strokes for different folks, right? At least now you know not to buy a really expensive game that you probably won't like. So that's awesome. Oh gosh, I forget where to go in here. I can picture the ladder I need to get to. 
Yeah, I can't go this way. Um, hmm. I guess for me, grinding just feels like I'm accomplishing something. Haha, -ha, try to touch me, will you? Okay, you guys come over here, please, so I can get down there safely. You love Final Fantasy 1, even though the level of grinding you have to do gets tedious. Yeah, I can see that. But it's also kind of nice just to hammer down on things. Goblin is hosting me. Hello, Goblin. Thank you for hosting. It's awfully kind of you. I just met Goblin yesterday in the stream of Mr. Brian Trusty, who you may or may not be familiar with. I think I need to go up there. But I'm going to kill this guy because there's an ointment that drops here. Now, I don't think I need to go and see the guru before. Oh, I, you know what? I should go and see the guru before. I think the guru's down here. Hang on, hang on. Yes. And that way, if we die, then we'll come back to the guru. And we won't have to come all the way back through here again. Ah, very nice. Oh, man. Goblin, thank you for hosting. Welcome to the stream, by the way. The dwarves regard the meteorite as a cosmic messenger. It's a dreadful thing, <coughs> excuse me, as you already know. It turns into a poison when dissolved in water. <coughs> excuse me. It's not inconceivable that you would experience mental and physical changes when you are near or touch it. That's why the dwarves have changed and gone crazy. All right. Oh, man. Yeah, I think maybe it's a good idea, Renaissance. And that way, if I don't have luck, then at least you'll be able to start here and you'll have a better time of it. You enjoy grinding more if it's semi-optional. Like, you can get by without it, but you can choose and level the hell out of your character. Yeah, I hear ya. I mean, I can always appreciate a game where you can get over-leveled, especially if it's your first time through just for that extra bit of cushion. So let's go over here. I'm gonna try to grab, there's that ointment that I want. Now I only have five minutes left to play. No, I did get a mantra. Huh, that's a good point actually. Goblin, I'm very well, thanks for asking. I'm loving this. I am playing, I don't know if, if you guys are aware, but tag team playthrough with the Renaissance, who's also here, and pretty much we're taking turns playing one hour at a time, so this is just nearing the end of my hour for this one. Am I going over here? I think so. I think it's this ladder. I think. Yes. Yes? I don't know. I'm not sure. Wow, I did not touch the poison this time. Okay. Holy crap, we're here. Alright, so we have Tilt equipped. So this is the boss of this area that we need to fight to get the Dragon Slayer. And so I'm just gonna get a red potion. I'm gonna get it ready. Oh no, I'm gonna get my hourglass ready. Ah, crap. He's already swooping for me. He's gonna get me. Power of the ointment has is gone, and I'm gonna do this. Use the hourglass. Okay, I'm gonna use a red potion as well to heal before I get wrecked, and then, and we're gonna try to tilt him. Hopefully, so his he has no projectiles right now. So this is why we wanted the tilt, and there we go. Heck yes, we got it. Nice. Check this out. We're gonna look so cool right now. Are you guys ready for this? You never use the hourglass here? Really? This is where I always, always use the hourglass. Which room were you meaning, Renaissance? I don't know. Either way, we've got the Dragon Slayer. He's very impressive, right, Sod? Coolest looking boss in this game. 
way more exciting than the final boss. You use it for the beehive. <laughs> no kidding. No, no way. All right. I've built this up. You guys ready to see how wicked we look? Check this out. We're going to put on our stuff. Because we have all the parts. Yeah, look at us. We look so cool. The hourglass is gone. Oh yeah, and now we also don't have any magic. But you know what? That doesn't even matter. So guess where we're going? Back to Funland. Ready for the prom. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful man ready for the prom indeed. Okay, so before we leave here, remember they said to go and see the guru? So we definitely need to go and do that. I went from Aquaman to Man at Arms. This is true. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Deviant. Okay, so back down to our guru friend. And you know, it's so funny, sometimes when I play this game, I can't remember where the guru is, and I search this whole place up and down, left and right, and can't find it. So we gotta come back in here, and if we don't do this, this is very similar to when we needed to go back and speak with the guru just outside of the town where we just were uh, a little while back at the beginning of the stream. So let's talk to this person. So the monster you've just defeated is King Grieve, who I always call General Grievous. I can never remember King Grieve. It's like a fact that will not embed inside of my brain folds. <laughs> the king of the dwarfs, the evil one, changed his appearance. The king protected the sword from the evil one by hiding it within his own body. That is intensity, right? Hiding a, a sword inside you, like a sword mule. Use the sword to defeat the evil one in the fortress. This will open the door to the fortress. And we have the demon's ring. There it is. So that's really cool. And I'm just gonna be safe. Oh, he's gonna meditate for me, but not with me. So I guess we need to leave. And what I'm gonna do is get our, our asses back out of this place to the town just before this area. And I might go over by a few minutes but I certainly don't want to leave Renaissance in a bad spot where he has to redefeat this boss <laughs> because I didn't actually get a proper mantra. A nature's pocket. I don't know if uh, there's a pocket big enough for that sword. Do you guys see how big this sword is? Okay. I haven't thought about the phrase nature's pocket in a very long time. Nostalgic. Welcome back. How's everything? Okay, that guy's dead. Okay. I should go back and show Moto my huge sword. Yep. No more little weenie dagger for us, that's for sure. We'll go see Moto. Alright. Excuse me. Get wrecked, assholes. There you go. There, we got them. Oh, I gotta jump here, I, I guess so. Could leave the boss for him. Consider it a gift and a challenge. Well, he's gonna be stuck with the final boss now. You're getting excited for let go? Oh, 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 don't kill me now. Away we go. Sorry, hang on one sec. Okay, sorry. I'm just inching towards this guy. So where we need to go next is through that door, but we're not going yet. We're gonna go back to town, see the guru, and uh, that'll put Renaissance in a really good spot to start up for next time. On the last, what will probably be the last leg of the game. I'm shocked with how well that General Grievous fight went. Just saying. You'll have a boss, all right. Okay, so this puts us back... <laughs> I hate this spot. And the battle suit and battle helmet and all that um, really help with not getting destroyed. Just saying. 
So this puts us right back to the beginning of the little area here. Do not kill me, sir. Excuse me. Oh, my bread disappeared into the ground. That was unfun. This music spot is fantastic. My speedrunner tactics. Hopping enemies AI was fun. Just jumping and swiping at the wall. Yep. They're so funny. Okay. Let's go back in here. Actually, I'm gonna just get some... Well, I don't know if you, you probably do get full health. You probably do get full health. Um, but I wonder... Um, how many experience we get. Um, if I were to restart, like, come back with the guru. This is only, what, a hundred? Less than a hundred experience for each time we kill this guy. Because I was thinking, we're not quite at the next uh, rank. It wouldn't take me too long to get to one more rank either. Hudson knew what was up. Yep. Yeah, this music's some of my favorite, too. Get out of here. Just 30, eh? I wish I could get that bread ghost, too. Oh, come on now. Um. This might take a while. I'm overstaying my welcome. Aw, thanks, Nostalgic. Yeah, I just want him to be well set up. I don't know what the actual amount is that we need. I'm going to assume 35, though. 35,000. We're kind of close to that, so I might as well just take a moment. It won't take long. And then we'll hand off the torch next time. Oh, I think you'll be all set, my dear. World's most considerate gamer. I don't know, man. Renaissance has done me a few solids in this playthrough. And after giving him the pendant last time, the very, very least that I can do is do a little bit of extra grinding. <laughs> yeah. I'm still not sorry about that. Makes the game better. Look at this. Leaving bread on the ground. And one more round of murder should do it. Okay. There it is. Let's go see... Oh, hello, Guru. Let's go and see... Actually, before we do this, let's go see Moto. <laughs> I want to show her my giant sword. She's not here. Where is she? Is Moto not at this place? No, Moto's not here. Moto's in a different town, you guys. Ah, oh, we'd have to go back. Okay, never mind. We won't go see Moto. Never mind. <laughs> Let's go over here. The birds have to eat too. That's very true. They can have all the bread they want. All right. I shall give you a title. Nice. Paladin. I forget what the top one is. I'm trying to remember what the highest rank is. Make sure you live up to it. All right. And let's get our mantra. We need peace of mind. We will be meditated with. Oh, look. This We're so far in the game, we get a question mark. Um, I'm very excited because I'm going to do something tonight with this game I have never done. You may not believe it. Believe it. I'm not, I'm not pulling your leg. VCV? What I'm going to be doing is getting through the last dungeon without the wing boots, going through the actual way you're supposed to go, I have never done it. I have a plan for tonight. Here's the plan. We're going to beat this game right now. And I don't think it should take too long unless I really mess up. What do I have here? I have three red potions. I think I'm going to be fine with that. I think I'm fine with that. 
Noticed no wing boots. Let's just see what this guy has to say to us. Anything exciting? I don't really need peace of mind right now. I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty centered right now. But thanks, pal. So we're gonna go and we're gonna go into the, the last dungeon and we're gonna find the dude and we're gonna demolish him. Then, after the game is over, let's see a show of hands. How many people were in Hungry Garaya's stream on Thursday night? I don't know why I was. <clears throat> She came across a young lady in a town a little while back whose name was Moto. Moto is in love with our character. And I was like, I want to go back and see at this point if she says something different or if she says something different to us in our version. So I've got a plan. I've got a Look how big my sword is. <laughs> Good God. Um, so that's after we actually beat the game. I... Just for safety's sake, let me just get a couple red potions. What the hell? You never know. Knowing me, I'm great at just blowing things that should be fairly straightforward, so. The save music is my favorite song in the game, and quite better than some other games, too. Oh, yeah. It's such a great tune, because it's kind of sad. Gotta love that sadness in it. I'm very well. Very happy to the ending of the game, yes. Central Pennsylvania. Who do we have? Al? Chris? Welcome, whoever you are, my friends. Colin Swinborne, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Me, I was there. Red Ox was there, okay. I enjoyed this game. It's huge! It is a big sword. It's a real big sword. Calm down, Ren, you got a big sword. No need to make others feel bad about their short daggers. Listen, I, uh, yeah. If I've got it, I flaunt it. That's my, that's my creed. One more, what the hell? We're not gonna need these, I don't think. I'm calling it, and we're not gonna need these. But what the hell. Let's just see our furry forearmed friend one more time. And we're off. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. We are in the evil place. And here we are, with this spooky freaking music. And let's not forget, folks. Uh, excuse me, my sword is huge. You can't hit me. I can kill you. Let's not forget, we've got the pendant. So this whole time... I should be killing these things in, like... Probably, like, one or two hits. I don't know. But it's taking longer. I'm not complaining. I, l I love that we got the pendant. I really do. This guy's gonna hit me. Because he's a jerk. Nice upper body strength, buddy. That was nice. Uh, oh, Dodo Bird's gonna come over here? You know what? Screw all you guys. I'm just gonna murder all of you. Okay. Our armor is really something special. I'm gonna kill Wampum Guy. I'm gonna kill the, the bees. Birds and the bees. No, sir! I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, I'm not gonna kill you again, that's for sure. That was freaking sexy. <gasps> First try. That's the longest jump in the game, I think. I just tried to duck. Can you believe that? <laughs> Here we go, right? This is it. Folks, this is it. We ready? Here it is. Here it is. And I'm gonna say this right now. I kinda hate this music. This is the one part of the game that I just think is just super lazy. Hungry and I have talked about this a lot too. And um, if you guys know Dongled, uh, Mike Tendo, he did a review of this game, and he talks about it too. I think everyone feels kind of the same about this. It's just a very watered-down, regurgitated version of the mm, awesome dungeon music throughout the whole game. It doesn't even sound like scary or anything. It just sounds meh. So that's the one part I don't like about this game. But that's that's nitpicky. I think we go up here. Okay. So again, I this is the first time I've ever come this way, and I had to look at Hungry's. Oh god, that's so satisfying. I did it, I did it, Hungry. You see that? So we go this way, I think, right? This is so crazy because... Had I just known this when I was a kid, like, this is already the end. So I would have, like, taken wing boots in the very first room and flown to the right because you can't reach it without wing boots, and you pretty much come to the left here. That's an elixir down there, which makes the boss fight, all, the boss fight incredibly easy because you're invincible. But not this time. We've got big old dog, big, big arm guy here. 
buddy. Hey, buddy. You're not gonna like this. You're not gonna like this. You're gonna get killed. So... Oh, okay, get out of here. You know what? Die. Die. <laughs> I'm not ready. This is it. This is the end. It's like... We're streaming five minutes, and this is the end. It's kind of it's kind of sad. But like I said, we're going to restart. We're going to put the password back in when we're done. We're going to go see Moto, see what she has to say. Are we ready for this? How's my life? Let me get a red potion ready just in case. You know what? I'm just going to swig it just right now. And I'm going to get another one ready. Didn't mean to do that. Let's get another winner. Are we ready for this? Let's do it. Let's do it, folks. Let's do it. Oh, my God. There he is. It's ET. Oh, my God. I gotta watch my life, because I'm an idiot. I'm gonna crush this guy, oh my god. That's it! That's it! Glad to have you back safely. Look at my red potion just sitting there in my inventory. Un undrunk and very sad. It will take time, but the elves and the dwarves will become friends and return the peace to this land as it used to be. I understand you will leave to continue your journey. What a restless guy. Here we go, ready? One of the this outro is not bad. This is a great outro. Here we go. And you get the awesome intro music again. Look at it. It's freaking beautiful, man. See you later, pal. Oh man, let's just drink it in. Look at that, look at that flowing waterfall. I wanna see Moto. I think Moto and I are gonna live a long life together and have little children, little elf children, who are gonna live and prosper. HMZ. C, 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 senor. G1H, yeah, yeah. Where are we? British Petroleum. All right. Okay, so, and and here's the thing about this. Oh, I gotta get out of here. All right, well, whatever. Gonna do a little backtracking. If we run into a roadblock, then oh well, we can't do it. But I think... Oh, right, okay. So this was my plan. I just have to get it into my own head again. There's a part, when we go back into branch, we're going to go back into branch, where, because I don't have any... I have one king key. King key? Anyone? I may not be able to get through, but there is a... A wing drop boot. Uh, a, a wing boot drop, excuse me in a certain, in the curtain room. Remember the curtain room? Yeah, you do. Oh, God, yes. This is probably my favorite tune in the game. Probably. It's either this or, like, the very beginning of Overworld. So, let's see what we can do here. Moto, we're coming. And we're gonna say, hello, Moto. You know what? Ciao. Eat bag of magic, my friend. She wasn't here, was she? Is this her? Excuse me. Have not seen you for a while. You'll find a magic cane. No, this is not her. Uh, Hungry. Wasn't it in the first town in Branch? I think that's what we're doing here. I think so. Uh, let me catch up here. Thanks, of course, Red Ox. Yeah. Hey, Ren, I'm doing okay, thanks. Hope you're having a great week. I'm, I'm having a ball right now. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. You donated them to Goodwill. I thought that's what you meant about the alien. Oh. Right, the last boss. Damn, I dropped into bed and to the point. Ren be putting the moves on. <laughs> Ren, did you get a haircut? Cabot, welcome, first of all. And secondly, to your, to your second question, or your first question, yes. Whether or not you did, your hair looks good. Just saying. Thank you very much. I did get a haircut. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Not much, man. Recovering from a cold. God, everyone's... Oh, that was... I want you to see Moto so badly. I can't wait. Spooning. Kane is spooning with someone. I left her quivering at the end of my stream. <laughs> yeah, you said that before, and that cracked me up. 
she's just like, she's just like, you know, biting her bottom lip. Like, when is that guy gonna come back? We're coming back, baby. Don't you worry. Anyone have one of those old Motorola cell phones? And you turned it on and it would say, hello, Moto, and that's all I can think of. I never had one, but that's totally what I'm saying. That's what I'm referencing, is what I should say. Captain Algebra? Oh my god. Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. It is YouTuber of the Month, Captain Algebra. Mr. November, as I like to call him. Hey, they're stupid. You call him Captain Algebra stupid? Uh, Spring Enterprises, welcome. How you doing, buddy? My first phone did that, and it was with Virgin Mobile. Okay. Sir Algebra. <laughs> it might have been the first time. I think it was. I'm going to check in on all these places right now, but let me just check. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not her. She's kind of homely looking. That's, that's definitely not her. How about anyone in here? Moto? Moto? She's so hot, though. Look at this girl. The guru of conflict. Yeah, that's not her. But bye, baby. See you later. Maybe? That's, again, too homely. Is this, is this who I just have not seen? You? Yeah, I already talked to you. Don't waste my time. She was definitely inside of a place, right? In, in a little shack or whatever. Shack. Don't you stab me, dude. Okay, so here's the part where I was thinking about. Although I totally forgot that I actually have a king key. Wow! You came out of nowhere. Cause you came from out of nowhere. If Wes were here, he'd be very excited that I just sang some Faith No More. Um, so I was thinking, I kind of want to do this because it, it might be fun. I want to do the old... See if I can get a pair of wing boots. Oh, that's not over here. Shit. Should I even do it? Eh, let's just go. Um, I have... Oops. I have one kinky. You know the cocaine cats? I call them that because they look like cats, and they're like, they just go berserk. They're very frantic and random. Alright, I'm pretty sure you need a kinky here. Sure do. Sure do. Okay. Alright, well, if you got the kinky, you use the kinky. Things get a little kinky at this point. This guy. This guy, right in my face. Okay. Cocaine cats? Has anyone seen Dr. Cats? Hungry, we talked about this. So the idea was if I got wing boots, I could fly up from below and then fly up through this little hole here. Anyway, I told Hungry Dry about. Dr. Katz. Dr. Katz was like a Squiggle Vision cartoon on Comedy Central in the 90s. And I didn't watch it much then, but... Nice. Oh, nice. We're good. This is the town. But I watch reruns of it now, and it's freaking hilarious. I love that show. Okay, here we go. Moto. Oh, uh, Moto. Oh my god, we're killing these guys. Killing them. Alright. You're not Moto. You're not Moto. Is this Moto? Where the heck is Moto? Do you want to know what I do? No. I am the pickpocket. Gingy. I'm an important person around here. I never talked to that guy. I never talked to anyone, really. They are terrible now. But they used to be skilled craftsmen. Um, where the heck is Moto? Can't go there. Can I kill you? You'll find the legendary... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm confused. I don't know where she is. Is she in here? No. Can you, can you look at how just relaxed this guy is in his chair? He's just got his, like, legs crossed. Twiddling his thumbs. Hungry, I don't know where Moto is. Is she even farther back? Ren with the Faith No War, I love you right now. You and Wes, man, you guys should uh, talk about Faith No More and hold hands and stuff. 
I'm just kidding. It's really good, a couple nitpicks, but it's much better than the insane trilogy for Crash. Homely girls need love too, Ren. Not by us when we're all souped up in this armor, I'm sorry. We're just too, we're too, you know, our level is too high up. Hey, J-Love, what's up? Welcome, how you doing? Good to see you. So like most cats, cats in the middle of the night always going crazy when you're trying to sleep. Yeah, but these guys are like super coked up, I think. Lady J-Love. You should go all the way back to the king and see if he berates you for... You know what? I saw someone do that once. Should I do that? How long would that take? Are you guys tired of this game yet? Should I do that? I love Dr. Katz. Hey, girlfriend. So freaking funny. Um, my favorite episode is Bakery Ben. Do you know what I'm talking about? The baker is so goddamn funny now. You got the body of a baker. You got the body of a baker, my friend. Like, I quote that with my friend all the time, and we just crack each other up. It's so freaking funny. <laughs> yeah, just you two, Bakery Ben, Dr. Katz, and have a ball. Also, oh my god, the morning person episode, <laughs> where Dr. Katz, like, laughs when someone dies, and he has to speak at the- he has to give the eulogy. Oh my god, that one is so goddamn funny. <laughs> Moto exploded waiting for you. Come on, now. Hit caps? Deviate. Yep, a lot of Bob's Burgers folks did the, if my memory serves me right. So no need to yell, buddy. Make elf babies. I'm trying to find Moto so we can do that, man. I remember hence the asking. You were in a snowstorm and sick, so I had to ask. What? Peter Bateman, what's up? My daughter says hi to hi, Peter Bateman, and hi, little, little Bateman. How are you guys? Thanks for stopping in. I think Moto is in the dungeon. No, she was in a town, wasn't she? Or was she in the end? I honestly do not remember. Um, you know those, girlfriend? That'd be so funny. Yeah, dude, those are so good. I see a nice dimension to that. A nice form to the bread. Oh my god, that one is so funny. I love that guy. Uh, Hungry, if you really want to do this, you don't have to, but you can, like, check your stream and see where she was. I don't know if that's a pain. Don't do it if it is. Big Evil, you're okay. We are easily confused. Um, well, he, she's certainly not here. And she's not in here. I don't... I can't imagine she's farther back, because... You, Hungry, the last episode, you were not in the mist. Like, you were already out of the mist. You know? Because I brought you here. So I could do one of two things. Let's take a vote. Let's do one of two things. I can either seriously go all the way back to the king and just see what happens. Which I don't think would take that long, because I'm kind of a beast. And I'm all souped up, and I don't need to do anything. Or I can go look for Moto from this point toward the end of the game... And see what she says. So let's say King or Moto in the chat. King or Moto. What, do, what am I doing here? Let's go. What are we doing? 29 people watching. Holy smokes, guys. Thanks for showing up. This is a lot of fun. Four years apart, same birthday, so yeah. Been done smashed. Linda is here. Linda the Good Gamer. AKA the Gamer Girl. What's up, Linda? How are you? Thanks for coming in. How are you? Moto. Okay, I got one Moto. I got another Moto. Anyone else? King or Moto? I'm not seeing any kings. Good, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm trying to figure out what we're doing here. We already finished the game. We destroyed the evil one because we're such a badass. All right, well, I'm going to go and find Moto then. Okay, Moto. That's a third Moto. That's it. Let's go forward. Oh, but I need a king key. <laughs> I... Oh, shit, I could... I don't have any more keys, guys. I can't get through here. <laughs> Hungry says king. Um, yeah, Ren, me, and Ashondo have the same birthday four years apart. Really? Oh, okay. Cool. Is that Rooks? Am I, seeing, am I talking to Rooks? Is Rooks here? I don't know what's going on. Um, 
I could put the password back in. I'll have to do the password back in if we're doing the Moto thing. Moto, which hungry, I would love to do the King thing, but I gotta listen to the chat. So I'm sorry guys, let's do the, the freaking password one more time. One more time and then we're out of here. Uh... Um, this is the part I forget. Luckily, HMZC. this town. I don't think she's in here. Moto. Oh, Moto. There's nothing else here. Okay. So it's gotta be the last, the, the next town over. Unless, unless she is in, you know where there's like this other area in here? Let me go down here. Hmm. Isn't it over here? There's like a, uh, a little town over here. Not a town, but a little... That was real dumb. I don't care. I'm like a tank right now. Go ahead and come at me, bees. I don't care. I'm walking on air. Alright, here. <gasps> Is this her? No, it's not her. Still looking, by the way. Oh, you are looking for her? Okay. <laughs> Hope that's not a pain. Sup, fools? Hey, Christopher Pika. How you doing, buddy? Welcome. It's Saturday night. It's live from New York. Saturday night. Defeat the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, that's... You're not Moto. And you can... You can get lost. Well, barely clinging onto that ladder. Are there any other places like this here? I don't think so. I don't think so. I really feel like you saw her before you got into this place, Hungry. Yeah, I'll have to keep checking the chat and see. Not the bees. Yeah, I have to see if Hungry finds the spot where she, she met her in her stream. Get out of here. She's certainly not in any of these places. Love your logo, Chris. Love it. We could have streamed, but was what the fuck ever. Not the bees, remember Kenna. Doing good, taking a break from editing. How goes it? It's going great, man. <clears throat> She's in the town with the lady that talked to you about the magic wand. Okay, so is the one back. I think. So, Pico Moto could be in a random house in one of the late dungeons. I don't think so. <laughs> Killing me won't bring back your fucking honey. I, she has to be in that town, but I, but I think I checked everywhere, didn't I? I can't believe we're doing this trying to find Moto. Just those first two notes of this song are so great. It's such a, like... Yeah. Just a great intro. Boom, boom, boom. You know, giving it speeds up. It's great. It's fantastic. Guess what? You're magic. Guess what? You are also magic. Alright, this is it. This is not her? You are the warrior everyone is talking about. This is her. Could I have your autograph? Are you busy now? 
<laughs> Will you come to visit me? That's what I'm doing here. My name is Moto. Please don't forget. I'm gonna go out and just go back in. Let's see. Let's talk to her like five times. Everyone is talking about us, by the way. Could I have your autograph? Were there really autographs back then? Were there pens? This was great, guys, but I was I was hoping for her to be like saying something different, you know. All right, well, it seems... Yes, 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 that's me. Let's go make some elf babies, baby. Did you find the magic cane? Are you kidding? Look at me. Did I find the magic cane?